Oh my goodness. I can't believe my secret has gotten out, you guys. I can't believe the world now knows that I've never beaten a Legend of Zelda game. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Jack. Hi, Daewoo. Pardon me just a second. I just realized that he's overlapped just a tiny bit into the black. Fix him up a, a wee bit. Oh, now this is touching the wrong spot. Oh my goodness. I'm a bad streamer. I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> so yes, the, the rumors the rumors are true. I have never beaten a single Legend of Zelda game. Ever. I've gotten really far in A Link Between Worlds. And also in Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time as a kid, I could never beat Bongo Bongo. And so then when it came out for 3DS, I got all the way to Bongo Bongo beat Bongo Bongo, and then I was like, I, need, I don't need to do anything else. <laughs> Childhood challenge squashed, and then I didn't ever go back to it. <laughs> and I don't, you know what? Link's Awakening was originally on the Game Boy, right? Uh, uh, if it is the one that I'm thinking of, I have played it before, like rented it, but I don't remember much about it other than that I really liked fishing and I liked to steal. <laughs> Hi Waffles. Okay, it was a Game Boy game, okay. All right, we are definitely just gonna play on normal because if I had a second Legend of Zelda secret, it's that I'm very bad at the Legend of Zelda games. Um, well, maybe not the 3D ones, but the the top down. I'm for some reason I'm not good at them. I I just Cadence of Hyrule is probably like the 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 best I am at them. <laughs> what a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You were on- oh my god, how do I say this? Koholint? Koholint? Island? My first challenge of the game. <laughs> this game is so cute, by the way, and the music is so good. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monster monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. Ooh, we got a Hylian shield. You get your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. Okay. I do have the amiibo for this game, so we might we might scan that in at some point. I haven't taken it out of the box yet because I wasn't sure if I would use it or not. I do I do collect a lot of amiibo, but I tend to take them out of my out of the box. A lot of people love to to uh, to keep them boxed forever. I am not one of those people, with rare exception. I like to keep some of them. That's true, it is in, in mint condition. This chain jump is a wild animal that needs to be taken care of. Alright, let's go to the beach. Hello, children. I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. <laughs> Fair point, kid. <laughs> I heard that you can press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you can stick pins in it with A and remember stuff with X. But I don't understand what they mean by that. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty handy. Yeah, we got a fancy shield, Dewu. Look at us go. We're on the prowl. Get down to the beach. Toronbo Shores. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm not at the right part of the beach. Can I push this thing? Yes, I can. <gasps> oh, God, I didn't push it far enough. My sword! He's looking around like, is this somebody else's sword? Uh, I'm gonna take it then. Hoot hoot. So you're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the wind fish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. <laughs> you don't like the owl, Jack? I mean, historically in Zelda games, owls talk a lot. 
I remember in Ocarina of Time, obviously, you always accidentally restarting the conversation as well. You found your sword. It must be yours because your name is engraved on it. You can swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. Look at us go. Bonk. Ho ho, we're bonking stuff. Hoot. Yeah, I can't do a good owl hoot. Hoot. I can do, I can do like a pigeon. <laughs> oh yeah. We're busting up everything now. So we need to go north to the mysterious forest. We should probably talk to the townsfolk a little bit more though. I just came straight down to the beach, as I was told. I really love the style of this game. One of my coworkers really hates it, but I like it. It reminds me of the, uh, the what, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the old ones. He looks like the elf. Can I open this? Oh no, I have to get from the other side. Duh. This looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. I need a bracer of some sort. Okay. Let's go back to town. Ooh, actually, let's stop here. What's this? You guys, you know what I did today? I have a Brita pitcher that I, fil I used because we have terrible tap water here. So I at least try to do the minimum of putting it in a Brita filter. <laughs> Which I'm sure I'm sure people out there say that that probably doesn't do much either. But it's better. It definitely tastes different. Uh, I was putting it back in the fridge and I was dancing <laughs> to the cat. <laughs> I was like singing some dumb, dumb song to my cat and being like... Duh, duh, duh. And I fucking dropped the Brita pi uh, pitcher and water went everywhere. And then I was wiping it up with towels and the cat started wallowing all over the wet towels. It was a whole mess. Welcome to Sale's House of Bananas. I'm Sale, and this is my house. Full of bananas. <laughs> Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. Okay. This seems like it'll be like a trade quest of sorts. Like, we get this guy canned food, and then he'll probably give us some other mission. Oh god, I thought that thing was gonna shoot me. I have watched some people play a little bit of this game. I don't know any. No, oh, excuse me. I don't know any story spoilers, luckily. But I do know that there is a crane game. And I would say if there's a third thing you need to know about me, aside from the fact that I've never beaten a Zelda game and that I'm bad at Zelda games, the third thing you should know is that I fucking love crane games. Like, if I have cash and I'm near a crane game, I will play a crane game in real life every time. I can't go to, like, midways with games of chance, like circus games and things like that, because I just, I love them. I am obsessed with them. Yes, Boat Knight, even if the prizes suck. Unless they suck too bad. Like, if it's a if it's a machine full of only minions, maybe I'll pass it up. But if there's anything even, like, remotely that looks winnable, I'm about it. I am about it. And also, hi, Boat Knight. How are you? Oh, these things respawned. All right, what's the sign say? I have decided to wake Link. I put up a few games in the Discord of, as to what I was gonna play next, and this one by one vote against Luigi's Mansion 3, which secretly Luigi's Mansion 3 was my was my preference, but I, w I wouldn't have put them all in the poll if I could have decided on my own. <laughs> Sup, Omelette King? You might be late, but you were eating some Captain Crunch and sketching. You never have to apologize for being late or for not being here or anything like that. Thank you for coming, Omelette King. How was the Captain Crunch? Did you have it with berries? You played this back on Game Boy Color because you're cool like that? I rented it on Game Boy Color. This is a bookshelf. What? You can see that? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> Maps and Memories Guidebook. Oh, I'm not going to read any of these tutorial books. Maybe this one. It's different looking. Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Koholint. Yes. <gasps> What's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying lens. But where could you get one of these? Maybe if you lend people a hand, they'll lend you a lens. Alright. Let's do that. Let's help the people. The beautiful people. The beautiful people. <laughs> Let's not hit the chickens. I do know that. Or the cuckoos. 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 I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Nowadays, saying cucko sounds weird, but that's how I've always thought it was. 
Oh ho ho ho! My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Your Bow Wow. Bow Wow Wow Yippee Yo Yippee Yay Bow Wow Yippee Yo Yippee Yay. Leave me alone. I want to go see what's in here. Hi. Chow Chow. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. <laughs> uh, and some new accessories would be nice. This, this, this thing wants makeup? <laughs> Madam Meow Meow. Yeah, that's quite the name. I'm Moonlight as Madam Meow Meow. Yep, yep. Oh. I, fr I don't know why I thought that the fox would talk. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure that the fox would talk. What's in here? A mysterious phone. <laughs> bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Olryra. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. You know, there is a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. <laughs> Click. Okay, so this seems like a place for hints when you get stuck. You like Darren Style? Yeah, I'm a fan of it. You don't remember a tree phone? I'm sure they made some life improvements, or a quality of life improvements, it feels like. But I can't speak on it because I only ever fished in the original game. <laughs> and got lost. And stole from the shop. Once you get something into the prize area at the trendy game, it's yours. We've been trying to win that Yoshi doll for our mom. We're going to win you that Yoshi doll for your mom, kid. Now the question is, can you steal? I will say, although this is a blind playthrough for me mostly, I do know a couple of things here and there, and I do know that you can still steal. Still steal? Still steal? <laughs> um, I am personally probably not going to do it on this playthrough. Just because I don't want the townspeople to be mean to me. I remember that they're mean to you when you steal. I mean, probably rightfully so, but... We're just going to get as much money as we can before we go. Hey, what's that? You found a secret seashell. But what do you do with it? Try and pronounce it. <laughs> Link found a secret seashell. Hut, hut, hut. Stealing a speedrunning strats. Oh, well, luckily for me, it's not a speedrun. <laughs> In fact, you'll probably find it to be quite the opposite of a speedrun. Stealing's a one-way ticket to Sadsville, just like in real life. Stealing is bad, friends. Hello, you. Trendy game, one play. Ten rupees. Let's try and get that... That Yoshi. The buttons move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over the buttons to play. Good luck. Or should I go for the rupee first? So then I can play more. Oh! <gasps> Okay, well, I fucked up immediately. Apparently, you have to um, keep holding onto the button. The second you let go, it's it's done for. <laughs> Your Hollow Knight speedrun was so great. Listen up, Jack. <laughs> I did I did pretty good at Hollow Knight. I didn't 112% it, but I did okay. If I do say so myself, okay. Oh my god! Okay, this is going to take some getting used to. I shouldn't have stopped at the Yoshi. I was like in... Oh, man. Okay, let's try again. I want this Yoshi. Yeah, that's, tr that's true. Life is not about 110%ing things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is going to take a lot of getting used to, my friends. I am bad at this crane game. Oh, oh, Yoshi. Can I just go straight over? <laughs> well, you're only 60% sure that's true. Yeah, but Jack is saying most of life is just 60%ing things to get by. There we go. That has to be in, right? Can I just not? There we go. If I don't get this Yoshi, I'll, uh, I'm quitting the game more play Luigi's page. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> just, just kidding. But why did that fall out? I don't have enough rupees now. I don't understand why that fell out. You're on a hundred and nine percent. Oh my! What do you know? What all you have left to do? 
rigged carnival games. That's 100% right. Hey, why did you not do the spin? We gotta get more rupees, you guys. I have a gambling addiction. Immediately. <laughs> stop paying that carny rupees. I'll never stop. Until I get that Yoshi, at least. But the, I think I was right about the strat. I should have gone for the purple rupee first. And then we could just keep playing. You know what? I should go about my business and then we'll get more money and then we'll... And then we'll have more money to, to gamble more. You have to defeat Nightmare King Grim and you don't know the rest? Oh, man. Evo went live? A lot of those channels do other stuff in their downtime. Hey, welcome. See something you like? Just bring it here. The shovel. I like the shovel. 200. All right, we gotta. S oh my god, it would be so much easier to just steal, you guys. <laughs> Think about it. Think about the stealing. Think about how fun it would be to steal. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I refuse to sully Link's good name. Do not hit that chicken. Hi you. Hi. Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called The Ballad of the Windfish. Just wait till a certain item is there? Oh man. Maybe I will have to steal. Here sleeps the flying rooster. It doesn't budge an inch. Oh, okay. That was a beautiful song. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. I thought maybe I was supposed to talk to you again. <laughs> yeah, but I trying to lure people away to watch something more interesting. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? You don't want to watch me play the crane game for two hours? <laughs> All right, let's see. Is that a baby? With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. She looks like a child. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one at the trendy game, but I couldn't get it. Wait, is she? Oh, the kid is probably hers as well. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Papal. Nice to meet you. Or pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later. So keep an eye out. <laughs> keep a lookout for me here. Was that is that literal? Will he literally be lost in the heels? Heels? The heels? <laughs> you know, my favorite song by uh Iron Maiden, Run for the Heels. <laughs> Thanks, Boat Knight. I appreciate it. I appreciate being more interesting than a list of games. Just barely. Well, it seems that after you save, you'll start at the last place you saved, unless it's a dungeon where you start at the entrance. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. I love that everyone has these tips for you, but they don't understand why. So I can save manually? Yes. I just want to do that. That bed setup did look uncomfy. You're right. It looked like everybody had to crawl over each other to get anywhere. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely wait till we have more rupees to come back and play with. Let's go to the, the woods up north. Oh, actually, let's go fishing. No records yet. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. I don't have 10 rupees for you. I only have 10 rupees for the Yoshi doll. Ooh, I do have 15 rupees. The kids all do have old-timey uh, cartoon eyes. That is correct. What's down here? Oh. A piece of heart. Okay, so we have one. Okay, so it works like in every other Zelda game. Dude, yeah. Crane game or fishing is going to be a tough choice for me. But we'll probably do crane game first since it's actual items. Wait, what is I guess I should probably read the sign, right? Mysterious forest. Moblins ahead. They're not friendly. Okay. Oh, that. I was like, why can't I move? Hey, Tuner, how you doing? Hoot. <laughs> Hoot. Oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint Island. I feel like I'm saying that wrong for sure. You feeling better, Tuner? No more sickies? 
I'm afraid you might find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot. Hoot. <laughs> I, by the way, to answer your question, am doing just fine. I went to bed really early last night because I was, like, dead tired. And so I have lots of energy. Okay, so that's what a moblin is. Okay. We're wrecking these moblins. You still haven't taken NyQuil at night to keep from coughing all night, but you're feeling a little better? That's good. Well, good that you're feeling a little better. Not the NyQuil part. Beware of floors with cracks. Don't get too comfortable with them. On them. <laughs> That was Kaipora Gabora. I don't understand the reference. Oh. These are the floors that I'm not supposed to get too comfortable on. Can I break that? Oh yeah, I can. You can't break these cuffs. Come here, bat. Bats are so cute. Probably not as, as menaces, you know. Can I push? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I have to f Oh no, I thought I had to fall down, but I didn't. You're not going to school tomorrow and you left early today, so you're having a great time? That's awesome. That sounds amazing. Oh, I can push these? What? I wish I could take the day off of work. Ah! <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Why do I keep trying? <laughs> I wish I could take the day off of work. That'd be nice. Uh, 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 uh. Can I only push? Okay. Okay. We're we're making progress here. <gasps> How fifty rupees? You guys, we can play the we can play the crane game five times. Did I fix those cracks? <laughs> nah, just put up a sign. We're good. You can't fix nature. You can't fix nature, Boat Knight. Alright. We gotta do a little bit of puzzling. Oh, that's wrong. Immediately that's wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, all humans do is fix nature. No, no, no. That's a... That's a lie. Remember when I told you guys that I'm bad at Zelda games? Slide puzzles are not my forte. Don't tell me the answer, though. I'll figure it out. I'll get there. Probably uh, much frustration to you. I will get there. Um, uh, this game is hustling me. I, th I have a... I just want to get out and come back in from the other... The other side. Can I not push that that way? Okay. I beat that something as you game. I did not beat Baba as you. I didn't even get close to beating Baba as you, but I appreciate you thinking that highly of me. <laughs> I did okay in Baba as you. I, I held my own a little bit. I can't. I can't visualize. I cannot. S huh. You're glad I knew what you were talking about. Yes, Baba is You. Baba is You is a great game. I've also been playing another fun puzzle game off stream called The Pedestrian, and that game is really fun. If you, it, it, it's, it's like, it's 2D. It's plat, it's like platforming puzzle, but it has very portal-like qualities to it, which I like. It's fun. And it's pretty cheap. It, it might have gone it, when it first came on. Came out, it was on sale for eighteen dollars, I think, and now it's probably regularly twenty. Hmm. Um. 
<laughs> oh, diddy. Um, you can't figure out this puzzle? Well, at least I feel better. Because I'm it, obviously it has to... It, I mean, I, I say obviously, and I think to myself that it has to do with these two up here. But I can't see how... Even if this, even if this rock wasn't here, I don't see how I would get in here. I, I, f yeah, like I feel like maybe I need to come back to this. I can't lift them yet, but I imagine eventually I will be able to lift them, or like maybe grab and drag instead of only push, maybe. It just seems weird that there would be something like this so early on that I couldn't do. But <laughs> you need to do a brain blast. Clearly, I need to do a brain blast. Have you tried Baba is Rock? Uh, Link is Baba is Heart. <laughs> Wait, did that just say lift? What just said lift? Oh, okay, okay. So I do need another thing. It looks like I can push these out of the way and then I can lift the skulls. Okay. Welcome back. Although now I'm a little bit lost. I don't know where I am. What do these do? Hello. What is this? You pick the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma fills, flows into your nostrils. Yeah, we'll be back, Hart. We'll be back. Oh, I need to not be this way. What is this? You get a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Whoa! Look at me go. <laughs> Getting high on forest rooms already? Yes. Classic Link move. Just getting high in the forest. Where do you think he sees the fairies from? <laughs> Just like Mario. Oh god, get me out of here! Silly, stinky bat. This uh, music that plays when you have this power-up is very... Uh, pleasing. It's like a perfect little gentle tone. Yeah, come at me. Not you. Not you. <laughs> oh my god, they split into more. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I probably can't push that yet, no. Oh, Jesus. I like how it just respawns more spears. Where did it have that spear? Where was it hiding? You just explain Zelda and Link as a stoner. I feel like every piece of media could be explained with a... Oh, God. Okay, well, that thing is... Uh... I was wondering if it had like a cooldown. I think I went the wrong way. Crazy Tracy. <laughs> That's not very nice to, to say about Tracy. She can't help it that she's crazy. Is this the first dungeon? I have to stop Ganon. <laughs> there is no Ganon. Oh, what is this? Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool it does. We'll mix something up in a jiffy we will. It's all ready it is Take care as there's not much there Why not try a bit in my hut <laughs> Is that Ori? It does kind of I, mean, I definitely think it's more of a rat than a chinchilla though You got some magic powder Open the subscreen with the plus sign And set it to either X or Y Well I'm not going to do that yet Because I don't want to accidentally use it And I don't know what it does Tracy has petitioned to the local mayor to take down the cruel sign. <laughs> yeah, it's unnecessarily uh, vile to poor Tracy. I know we're not done here because we're supposed to find a key up here before we go to the cave to the south. We can't go that way. You can't move these. You have a sister named Tracy, but you're the crazy one. 
Maybe she put up the sign. Oh, a fairy. They look like it looks like a Sarah Silverman's character in Wreck It Ralph. I couldn't think of the game or the name of the show. The movie. Ah! <laughs> Sup, Gorbish? Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. Princess Penelope Yvonne Schnapps. I think that's her name. I hope that fairy wasn't one time use. <laughs> Because that would have been a waste. Do we have so much gambling money now? We're gonna gamble up a storm. Sarah Silverman's the voice actor for the little girl? Yep, she sure is. I've always thought it was funny because I like Sarah Silverman. I know a lot of people don't like Sarah Silverman, but I like Sarah Silverman. And I just think that's such a funny choice to for Disney to have hired Sarah Silverman. At least I have my priorities straight. Absolutely. I want that Yoshi doll stat. You got a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Okay. So if I if something was gonna do a half a damage to me, does that make me invincible to it? Is this an enemy or a no. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Okay, so I'm probably supposed to do something with the powder to this guy. <laughs> did I? What did I do to him? Sup, Ultros? You only know Sarah Silverman from one episode of Star Trek? I can't say that I knew she was in any episode of Star Trek, Puffy Cheeks. Also, hi, Puffy Cheeks. The last thing I can remember is biting into a big, juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. <laughs> I, he, that, he was just a raccoon. <laughs> yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. I'm all tuckered out. Think I better set a spell before I go head home. Set a spell? Oh, so like sit a, like a southerner. I better, sit, I better set a spell before I head home. There we go. It, makes all, it all makes sense to me now. You just noticed uh, Steven Universe is on Hulu. Hulu has a lot of stuff nowadays. Oh, we got the key. You got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. Excellent. Oh, here comes that owl. Star Trek Voyager. I have never watched any Star Trek at all besides the movies, the remake movies in... And I only saw the first two of that. Hoot! <laughs> Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. Well, since you told me to go now, I will not go now. I'm gonna gamble first. The windfish is waiting. Hoot! You had to scroll back because you thought you heard your name, but you just I just said dust and powder. <laughs> That's great. You love this game, Ultros? You played the, the remake or you, the, just the original or both? Oh, it's not all of Steven Universe, just a couple of seasons. That's interesting. It has all of Adventure Time, if I, if I remember correctly. It was a time travel episode. My favorite thing, like random thing that Sarah Silverman is in is she's in Rent, the movie version of Rent. I'm not gonna, okay, maybe I, I don't wanna answer the phone. <laughs> I don't wanna hint, I don't wanna hint. Gaponga Swamp. Danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. The rapper? He's not little anymore. He's just regular Bow Wow. Okay. <laughs> that felt mean. Can I break down this sign and go through? No, okay. Let's get back down to town. Great first quote. <laughs> I should stop taking pills. I think about that sometimes when I'm playing Binding of Isaac offline. And I, <laughs> I'm just like downing every pill I find. And I'm like, oh no, this isn't gonna end well. The, the stream would be judging me. You cannot stand Sarah Silverman. I love Sarah Silverman. There's also a great, uh, like I can understand her faults for sure. And there's a great stand-up routine 
that Aubrey Plaza does where she pretends to be Sarah Silverman and it's really funny. What up, Vistari? Yes, yay Zelda. The time has come. Can I hold more than 99 rupees? Time to find out. I can. Alright, we have 10 attempts to get this Yoshi. Or I could go for the rupee, the purple rupee first, and then we can uh, quint quintruple our, our, our chances. Is quintruple a word? You saw her naked and it was some kind of big deal because it was a weird non-comedy role. I know the movie you're talking about. You hated the last season of Steven Universe, Jack? I thought everybody just universally loved that movie. Or show. <laughs> Why can't I distinguish between types of media today? <laughs> Books, games, movies? I also like Aubrey Plaza. She's another thing that, or another person that a lot of people are iffy on. Oh, this was too high, I think. Let's go for the uh, heart with this. I had the Yoshi that one time. It fell right through. Right through the cracks. This... I feel, I'm not going to get excited. After after our Yoshi incident. Hey, look at us go. You made rice cooker pancakes? Oh my god, you guys. Today, we were looking at rice cooker pancake re recipes. And let me tell you... I have plans for the weekend. Oh, that's too far to the right, I think. Well? I don't know. Yoshi! Should we go for the rupee? I think we should go for the rupee. You broke a rice cooker doing that? See, that's what I said, Puffy Cheeks. I was worried that I would break my rice cooker doing it. But my logic... Uh-oh, that's too high. Is that... Uh, I want a smaller rice cooker anyway, because I have like a full-size one, and I am only ever cooking for me, so I don't need <laughs> like a huge rice cooker. I would like a smaller one. So if I break it, dude, we just came back, by the way, and nailed this. Three attempts. All perfect. It was a da disaster. The internet said it would be fun. That sounds like most things on the internet. Get your buttons out of my eyes. Hey, Rolo, thank you for the sub. 17-month streak is insane. And also, uh, as Rolo would say, purr, purr, purr. How are you doing today? Look at all my prizes. I'm flush with prizes. Smash Ultimate confirmed for EVO 2020. Was it that ever a doubt? I, f I feel like... I feel like it has to be. I'm doing well. I'm excited to, to play this game. See if I can maybe finish my first Zelda game in my entire life. <laughs> Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. I know where your mom lives. I'm going to go give it to her. If you know what I mean, kid. <laughs> the worst. get good scrub nuts. Did you see how good I just was at the crane game? Now we have all this leftover money to go fishing. Uh. Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Uh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. A bow. I know who wants a bow. Remember that thing that said the little like chain chomp that was all excited? This is the the aforementioned uh, sleeping arrangement that looks awful, by the way, you guys. Mom and dad would have to crawl over the children <laughs> to get to bed. Your rice cooker is small? We should have a rice cooker trade. <laughs> what brand is yours? Also, uh, yeah, Puffy Cheeks, if you're still there, I want to know how, what broken your... How, I want to know about the disaster with the rice cooker pancakes. You never did the fishing in this game because you thought it was way too much? I love fishing minigames. The other day I saw a little bit of a hint that there's going to be a fishing minigame in Final Fantasy XII, and I'm excited for that. Which, by the way, you guys, I've been, like, hankering for Final Fantasy XII on my off days. I wanted to play it on Sunday. I'm sorry, I just hit the mic, by the way. Um, I wanted to play it on Sunday. It's rival about 15 years. Uh, nope. No, no, sir. No one in that family gets any privacy. Exactly. You used to have a chicken named Puffy Cheeks? Did you really? <laughs> That's cute. Okay, here's how you do it. Hold A and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. You can tug on your line by moving the left stick. 
If you want to reel it in in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. You've got this, old buddy. It took forever. Oh, wow. Oh, because it kept turning off because you have... <laughs> oh, I friggin... Cast out way too far. Come here, you. Come here, you little punk. This is a small fish, though. <laughs> Look how happy he is. You landed a little fish. Just like you. It's small, but has plenty of fight. It's a seven and a half inch runt. You gotta dream bigger than that. A fish like that's worth, let's see here. Nine rupees. Oh, okay, so he pays us? Oh, and there was a thing in it. We're almost to a health upgrade, guys. Only one more. It took about 50 minutes? That's insane. Dude, Rolo chickens? Chickens with, uh... With little froze are so cute. I know exactly the little chicken afro you're talking about. I knew what you meant, by the way, when you typed it, Boat Knight. Fear not. Hey, there's a jar down there. Can I catch the jar? We'll try for that after this. Can I entice you? Oh, damn it. I had it for a split second. Come here, you. I wonder if I need something better to catch it. I'm sad now. Let's see if we can catch that jar. You also had a cow named Little John. <laughs> That's a good cow name. It's not having it at all, Tuner. You're right. I spent so much time in Ocarina of Time fishing as well. I just love fishing mini games. Final Fantasy 15 has a great fishing game. This jar is. What? Whoops, you'll get it next time, buddy. You. I don't want that jar anyway. Stupid fish. Used to fish on Gaia all the time. I also used to Gaia fish a lot. I've talked to, to uh, V Starry a lot about my Gaia fishing <laughs> and Gaia Jigsaw. I was very into Gaia Jigsaw. Alright, let's go then. Since we're. Since we're full- oh wait, I forgot to turn in the bow to- I think the- the thing that said it wanted accessories. Wanna play Stardew with you for 179 hours? Let's see how many hours I have in Stardew. Stardew Valley. I have 192 hours. Oh yes, you had a big rice cooker, it doubled as a pressure cooker. The internet said pancake cake, so you could not resist. Three mixtures of pancake cake. Put in there, and you added matcha powder to it because you wanted a green tea cake. You disabled the auto timer and left it to do its thing, and 20 minutes later, green goop everywhere. <laughs> half cake, half sad mess. <laughs> the appliance never turned on again. That's so sad. <laughs> that ribbon. I need it. I knew you would want it. And then dog food. We know who wants dog food. We're off to the freaking races <laughs> with these traits. <laughs> I didn't want to sell out your business. About uh, about the guy I jigsaw. <laughs> but yes. The guy I runs deep here. I love Stardew Valley. It's so fun. Puffy, thank you for ex for sharing that. <laughs> that gave me a chuckle at the expense of at the expense of your uh, your rice cooker. Ah, the piece of power. Eighty two hours. That's not bad, not bad, my friend. I'll always start new Stardew Valley files and then I play them consistently for a while. Oh, this is where we need to go. Don't let me forget. But then I, uh, I'll fall off. I took Luna and started a farm in the desert. Are you just, did you just call my cat Luna, Boat Knight? How could you? We gotta get to the dog food guy. We need to give him his dog food. Before I forget. I think this is him. The banana house. 
and the copa. Copa banana. I could do a multiplayer server for Stardew. I just don't really have a day for it right now. But I was thinking after... So for Sega Genesis games, in case anybody was wondering, tomorrow we're going to play Beavis and Butthead as long as the cartridge works. Because I realized I haven't tested it. <laughs> and then um, the week after that we'll do Taz, Escape from Mars. And then after that I might put the Sega away for a little bit just because it takes up a lot of space on my desk and uses a lot of cables, uh, which are also cluttering up my desk. So we might need something for Wednesdays again. We'll see. But I was also thinking it might be fun to get back to Minecraft again. For heaven's sakes, man, give that to me, please. I'm going to lose it if I can't get that can. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll take that. You're welcome. This guy really loves dog food. You did get her name wrong. How dare you. Her name is Juno. Actually, I actually don't know where she is. Munch, munch. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. <laughs> if only this crocodile knew. Bananas for dog food is a great trade. Hi, Dr. Chocula. Your biggest regret is getting the Stardew Valley iPhone app. You're not joining Minecraft this time. Why, Rolo? Because I made fun of your hole in the ground? <laughs> I'm sorry. You are a much be better builder than me. 100%. I just... I had to make fun of you because I suck at building. Oh, man. Yes, this game looks awesome, Chocula, and it also has a really cool soundtrack. You guys should hear the menu music. Maybe at the end of the game, I'll, or the end of the stream, I'll pull it back up, because I really like it. You were thinking Luna after the moon, but it's Juno, which is another planet's moon, so you were close. Fair enough. This is not the way that I need to go. You played Minecraft for 20 hours? Oh, I understand. Oh god, I was looking at chat. <laughs> I understand. You're all Minecraft out. I thought you were just saying that you didn't want to join our server specifically. The server is still up and running. I think Dusty and Crimson uh, might have been building on it recently. You'd be down to Minecraft? It is the Java edition. Boop. The only Zelda game you, Zelda game you ever owned was A Link to the Past? The, well, then you're probably in my... Have, did you finish Link to the Past? Are you in my club of never having beaten a Zelda game? Hey, Stex! You rage quit from my server because you died and lost a beacon and four Stex. Oh, you never reminded me, Dusty. I could give you your stuff back. I just wasn't home when you brought it up. <laughs> Juno is a spacecraft that went to the moon, so you were kind of almost close. <laughs> I love that noise. <laughs> the, that one kind of sounds like me. <laughs> if you love A Link to the Past, play A Link Between Worlds is sort of a sequel. I've played A Link Between Worlds, but not A Link to the Past. Uh, Java Edition means that you have to have the, the PC version that's not the Windows Store. <laughs> yeah, I'm right about 60% of the time. <laughs> 60% of the time, I'm right 100% of the time. Is this the Zelda game where Link saves Zelda? I actually... Please don't spoil this for me because I, story spoilers are the one thing I don't... I would not like. But I don't know if Zelda is actually in this one. We have Marin. Yeah, people love A Link to the Past. I have it for Super Nintendo. We'll probably have to give it a shot eventually. Come on, fall down that hole. Ah, oh, farts, your Mac only over there. Well, actually, maybe the Mac version might work. I don't know if it's from the App Store, though. I'm playing as Zelda right now. Oh, duh. Yes, I have gotten into a dungeon. At last, you got a map. Oh, nice. What is this? Oh! <laughs> I did not expect that to be that. You've never played a Zelda game other than the one on NES? The gold one? We had that gold one. Can I break these? 
or push them, not break them. Oh God. Oh, I have a key. I could go in that door over to the side. Now I have two keys. I'm rich. I'm rich. Let's go. Mac can run Java edition. Oh yeah. Boom. Hey, oh, not boom. How did you make it all the way over there? <laughs> you bastard. Oh god. I got bullied. <laughs> Can I go up? Is there... Oh, I see. Did they change the diamond? Or oh, maybe I don't see. The beakless statue is saying something. You can't make it out. Okay. Welp. <laughs> Let's go ahead and retry that. So tomorrow is Minecraft night? No. No, no, no. Not yet. We still have Sega games to play. And I also don't even know for sure that I'm going to switch to uh, Minecraft on Wednesdays. It was just an idea. Looks like turd walls. Those are just called intestines, Zoldros. We don't call them turd walls around here. <laughs> Sup, Captain Dingpot? Yes, Link's Awakening. It's my first time playing it. Shitty wall. Let's utilize our new powers. <laughs> I know I can't go that way yet. It looks like I need something for that statue. Can I do anything to you? There. <laughs> Thank you, Dusty. Great quote. It's weird to you that people own Macs these days. They aren't any bad or anything. It's just weird. I have a couple of Macs. Um, I don't use them for games, but they are very nice to use as personal computers. The only reason that I would never invest in like a really good one is because I mostly use my computer for video games, and that is not the if it, that's not efficient. <laughs> Once I have a bigger space like living space. I would like an office and I would like to permanently set up one of my Macs for like editing and stuff. Cause it's nicer, it's just nicer to, it feels nicer to edit on a Mac. Some of the software that's available is a little, just feels more efficient. Even though it runs fine on PC, it's just a case of being spoiled. This is a really good Zelda game. Yeah, I like it so far, Dingpot. I, ding, I've only played, um, oh, I didn't need to go that way. I've only ever played before Ocarina of Time. I played this on the Game Boy. I rented it, but I never got far. I pretty much only fished. Uh, and then, oh God. Um, I played Majora's Mask and I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I didn't care for it. Cause I don't, as you guys have seen, I don't handle pressure in video games very well. So that's like a nightmare for me. And uh, so yeah, Ocarina of, oh, and a, a Link Between Worlds. I started Wind Waker HD on Wii U and it was, I liked it, but I got frustrated really early on. So I quit. I don't remember exactly what I got stuck on, but I got stuck on something and I just was like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> you should do a Minecraft night. You were jealous that AJ got to play with her fans. We played before Stax and I didn't think that you played with us. I thought you only had the, the uh, Bedrock Edition. Also, you guys are my friends. Not my fans. Those googly eyes are so adorable. You really liked it? You needed a guide for one point only near the end? Yeah, if I get stuck, I'll definitely ask for help. I I anticipate that I will get really stuck in this eventually. I can't make out what the beakless statue is saying. So I think we need a beak. Oh! I didn't realize I could push that. That was an accident. <laughs> You like them as a graphic designer? See, exactly. Oh man. Yeah, V Starry is Mac a Mac fan. Can I do something to you? How do I I played about the same amount of Zelda games as you? 
Excellent. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these guys. Can I poke him? Oh! Oh! I forget that I have the shield. Bye-bye. Oh, secret stairs. The AVGN also didn't like Majora's Mask, really? Yeah, I don't know what it is about it. It just didn't click well for me. Hey! We're in Mario now. <laughs> do, 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 do. Don't make positive improvements to my home or I'll flip. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, Dusty. Yeah, so Dusty dug a bunch of holes in my in the entryway to my home that had dynamite at the bottom of them and also killed me. <laughs> and, I, and I rage quit. I flipped the fuck out and I broke all his stuff. I really, really do not enjoy my things being messed with <laughs> in Minecraft. You got the rock's feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. What does that mean? Ooh. I'm gaslighting you. Okay, we can jump now. You didn't have Minecraft when we were playing? You pirated it after your kids wouldn't leave you alone about it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're jumping everywhere now, guys. Forgive me, but what's the weird face next to your crown? It's your it's it's your sub badge because you got a gift sub last time you were here. It's uh, Filbert from Rocko's Modern Life. Someone on face the Facebook Chinchilla's owners groups posted a thread that says it says to post a meme of your Chinchilla's reaction to be being told no, and the replies are hilarious. That sounds fun. Who trolls in Minecraft? Yeah, exactly. Who trolls in Minecraft, Dusty? Oh, wrong button. I was hoping I could jump over that. Ah! Oh, I could have probably jumped over that. <laughs> oh well. You couldn't beat Majora's Mask? The only one you played that you didn't finish? Well, you didn't finish one DS one, but that's because you quit for being terrible. Which one? Which one on DS did you not like? Oh, you know what else I played? I played Oracle of Ages. I... I lied. I did play that as well. But I don't remember much about it. I think I still have it. This looks like I need bombs. We're gonna get bombs. You moved one of my 300 pairs of shoes an inch to the left and she burned your house down. No, no, no. No, 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 Dusty. Can't be out here telling lies. Putting lies on my name. That's... I want to make that jump, but I don't think I can make that jump. Um, you know what? I know that there is... Can I push this? It seems weirdly out of place. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the Rocco theme is a total brain worm. It is. Rocco's modern life. Rocco's modern life. You played Legend of Zelda 1 through 3, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Maker, Wind Waker. What is OOA? Oh, Oracle of Ages. Um, Minish Cap, LBW, Link Between Worlds. I'm good at acronyms. <laughs> Uh, you just realized you played more- I was gonna say, yeah, you you played a lot more Zelda games than me. Alright, let's do this jump, baby. Woo! Oh, hold on. I was gonna read chat. <laughs> it was okay up until you have to return to the same dungeon for the third time and it runs the same stuff again with a time limit. I don't- yeah, see, I don't think that would have been for me. You've only played Link's Awakening and Majora's Mask. Oh, man. You didn't play the two on Wii. Oh, you know what? I played Twilight Princess. <laughs> I guess I played more Zeldas than I remember as well. I played a lot of Twilight Princess too. I can't believe I forgot it. I have I have Skyward Sword, but I don't know that I played it. We're gonna die. Ready? Okay. Oh, maybe we're not gonna die. Not yet. You've only beaten two. Ocarina of Time and Link's Awakening. I've not beaten a single one, so we're... We're similar there, at least. What is this doing to me? Oh, can I go back? I didn't want to do that. I didn't realize that's what that was going to do. 
look at this gummy game. This game's a cute uwu. It certainly is a cute uwu. God damn it. Every time. Oh, that wasn't even the boss. That's the boss dungeon. The jump is so fun. Okay. So I'm missing two rooms over there. We'll take that teleport back. It's <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the flow of language, Bow Knight. Oh, I hate these things. Can I not do that? This game is cute AF. Link looks like he goes to that Captain Underpants school. I don't. I haven't read a Captain Underpants book in over 20 years. Oh, we got another key. You couldn't get into Majora's Mask. Some of the puzzles are too vague for you. I don't even remember Snowpoint Temple. I just remember I started it and I barely got anywhere in it because I just wasn't enjoying it. The compass. Now you can see where the chests and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature, a tone that will tell you if a key is nearby. Okay. Okay, we're missing a few things. I know that this square, I, it, I'm pretty sure I need bombs for it. So we have to get to this. This is what we missed. And we missed a chest right there. 20 years ago, you weren't even born. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. God darn it. Stop, leave me alone. That's what I want. Took the time to figure it out and it easily became a favorite. That's the thing is, I will say Majora's Mask is definitely one of those games that people like. When people like it, they love it. Nobody just likes it. I feel like nobody thinks that, like, it was just an okay game. They're either like, I didn't like it or they love it. And I don't think that it's a bad game. It's just not for me. Zelda 2 had RPG mechanics when the first one didn't. Six-year-old you had no strategy or internet. <laughs> a strategy guide or internet. Yeah, that's like me trying to figure out that... That, uh... Ooh, we got the big boss key. That RPG game for the Sega Genesis that I was talking about. I couldn't figure it out. Can I jump this? Wah! No. Why does that thing stick out like that? That's curious to me. You got Majora launch year, you were eight, didn't like it until five years ago. I remember that I didn't play it when it came out because I think you needed that expansion pack thingy and I did not have it. I remember wanting to rent it from Blockbuster and not being able to. <laughs> it wasn't the livens. <laughs> oh man, I want to figure out what those things do. Two years forward from 20 years ago, you were born. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know why I didn't realize that was going to happen. You borrowed your friend's copy, got to the upside down stone temple, and just couldn't figure it out, and eventually returned it. Buzz, buzz. Outsider. Moldorm. Okay. This thing looks like a burger. Is it a burger? That looks like onion. That looks like an onion on its tail. <laughs> Moldorm, but I barely know him. Oh, boat night. Welcome back, Jack. How was your dinner? You got a heart container. Your maximum heart. Hit number has increased and your health has been refilled. You get the full moon cello. All right. We give this to the girl that sings. 
20 years ago you were already driving an automobile. <laughs> Ooh, meatloaf and salad. That sounds good. I really have been quaving, quaving. <laughs> I was reading the word swamp. I'm sorry. I really have been craving meatloaf lately, but only like my mom's recipe. I want my mom to make meatloaf. A path opens in the blooms. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Jack, do it again. We can jump. Oh, the owl's back. <laughs> it's alive and... <laughs> it did die very cute. Everything in this game is cute. Even the bad guys. Hoot! That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the fifth set, have the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Kaponga Swamp. Hoot indeed. I bet we have enough for the shovel now, you guys. <laughs> I've been quaving meat wolf. Does she use tons of ketchup in her meatloaf? The topping, like the top of it that she makes does involve ketchup, yes, but it's not like, it has other stuff in it too. I'm not a huge ketchup person, but man, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's your most hated of all loafs. I can't say that I enjoy any loaf more than a, well, I guess a loaf of bread. You didn't really have YouTube when finding the key in the dragon forest from Diddy Kong Racing. You had to go to sketchy website. Yeah, I remember having a note. I think I've mentioned this before when playing Harvest Moon for the um, for the PS2, having like a notebook with all the stuff handwritten in it. Like, okay, this crop goes best in this season, and I can make hybrid crops with these and like <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of moblins. Then, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It's a really bad scene with the moblins. So, I mean... Ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Okay, I think we gotta go to the moblin. Or the the chain jump house. Alright, good night, boat night. Thanks for hanging out. Aye! It's terrible. My Bow Wow was dognapped by m m m moblins. Ooh, ah! Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Where did they take it? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Why can that other one in the other room talk and that one can't? We have a Goofy and Pluto situation on our hands, you guys. Meatloaf, speedloaf, double meatloaf. Oh my god. You like end cut meatloaf? Like you like the end piece? Snore. I'm not gonna make a snore noise. <laughs> if and you don't know, call old man Orira. Okay. He's telling us how to get a hint. Are they using Link to the Past instruments with that theme? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Streamer, how do we fix the Iowa caucus? Nobody answer that question. Dusty knows better than to be talking politics in chat. <laughs> Dusty knows. I guess I probably just have to go up to the swamp, right? It sounds like a Super Nintendo. Link, Terran's taking a nap at home. I don't know how he can sleep on such a nice day. It makes me want to sing a song. <laughs> well, luckily for me, Dusty, I can exclamation point del quote 148. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta find these moblins. And where they took this chain jump. Old Bow Wow. Bow Wow Wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. How do you quote evil laughter? I feel like they're supposed to be in town somewhere. Where the crazy music starts. But maybe not. Maybe we're just supposed to go north. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I can't help but to like compulsively break all the... <laughs> everything we see. Okay, 
that's just because I know where that is. Gotta go. Small man's getting restless. See you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, we can go that way. I kind of want to see what's... Okay, so that's the actual swamp. No! I pressed X, I swear. A bloopy? Who are you? Well, I pretty much stick to myself. Me and my letters. My name's right. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Huh? I want to write this guy a letter. That's sad. That's so sad. Oh, I thought I could maybe talk to the parrot. I cannot. What a loser! <laughs> you animal! Ori is eating her pellets. Your parents gave her too many treats while they were watching her and she quit eating her food. Yeah, she would. She had to get hungry again eventually. Guardian acorn. Yeah! He's kind of kinky with the grammar. Uh-oh. Do I want to know what that means? Let's see what's up. Yeah. That room was very Animal Crossing. Yeah, oh man. I was thinking about Animal Crossing because I'm, I mean, obviously I'm getting Animal Crossing. I bought the, <laughs> the Switch for it too. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to play it on stream or not. And if I do, you guys will probably be very upset with how I do my houses in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Because I am not a decorator. I'm a collector in those games. I love doing all the collecting. But the decorating? Not good. I did buy the Animal Crossing Switch. Yes. I'm going to put a little bit of my tax return toward it. Because I really shouldn't have bought it. But it's so fucking cute. How could I not? Oh my god. All caps. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. I have no fucking idea what that meant. <laughs> Am I like a hoarder in real life? In, in real life in Animal Crossing? No. I don't hoard things. Well, I guess I maybe do in the- in like, I'll put it all in the drawers and stuff, but I don't put it all in the house. But, and, and stuff will have like a general theme, but it's just very basic. It's like, I have a couch. <laughs> and a- <laughs> Can I- okay, can I go in the water? Keep out, except Bow Wow. Oh, I can go in the water. I don't know why I thought I wouldn't be able to go in the water. Oh. Can I step on this? Okay. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> You'd be down for watching me play Animal Crossing. So the thing about Animal Crossing is not that I don't want to stream it. I, I think it would be fun to play. It's just Animal Crossing to me is something... Oh, God. That I play for like... Okay, I obviously can't do anything to that right now. Um, I usually will play it for like an hour or two a day. So I don't know that I could do a whole stream out of it. Ah! Okay, I need to... I need to... I need to evaluate. <laughs> hey, Vodka, how are you doing? Man. How many deaths are we at? Ah! Butthead! I didn't have my hand on the controller. Leave me alone. Let's go this way. Ah! Get me out of this swamp. Can I jump over the rocks? No. Okay, not the way. Okay, I feel like I missed something. I was probably supposed to find those. Probably supposed to find the Bow Wow before I came this way, I feel like. Unless I can push these? No, I can't push this. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. You can always switch to a different game. You rarely see anyone playing Animal Crossing on stream. I think once the new one comes out, I think it'll be very... I think it'll be very saturated. I think there will be plenty of people playing it. You would love watching Animal Crossing. <laughs> Saves you the hassle of playing yourself. Maybe we'll have to. Maybe I mean, maybe we'll play it. Like, maybe we can... Uh... God damn it. Like, s we'll, s we'll see what the schedule's looking like around the time that it comes out and see if we can make it work. Make it work. 
But I would probably also play offline is the, is the only thing. Because I it, it, to me, it's like you have to play daily. Or else your town gets weeds. So as long as you guys wouldn't be offended that I played offline with you some, without you, we could make it work. You doing good, Vodka? Good. I'm happy that you're happy. These oh, these slimes. They remind me of- they really make me think of Stardew Valley. We'll see. Because I know I'm going to make some sacrifices to the schedule once Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out for sure. Oh god, another piece of heart. Yes! You got four pieces of heart. We got an increase. Look at us go. What's up here? Oh! Tall, tall heights. The wind fish in name only, for it is neither. I don't understand those riddles. Animal Crossing, more of a chore than an actual game. I like it. I like it. Eh. Who is this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Okay, alright. Maybe this is where... Uh-oh. Oh my god. Maybe this is where they're keeping the Bow Wow. Ugh. Because there is that sign that said, like, no entry except for Bow Wow. So I think they love Bow Wow. Uh-oh. Is that the comic where the the guy's mom played and then left the letters, Gorbush? You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, you gotta wait till he hits the wall. Come here, you. Come at me. Nice. I feel like we almost had him in that one in that one shot. It's from when Pokemon XY came out. Can I not use this? Okay. Bye. <laughs> Rude ass fairy. I've come to save you. You've saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. Oh, it comes with me. Oh, so maybe I can take this through the... To through the swamp with me? You bought those eyeglass cleaner things that look useful from Wish and they're gimmicky as hell? You risk coronavirus from this, for this crap? Um... I wash like actual eye eyeglass cleaner wipes for me always just make my glasses a smudgy mess. Rain light and Canadian Papa Bear at the same time. What's happening? What's happening, guys? What's the wa I love wasu wasu. <laughs> How are you guys both doing? This is my first time playing Link's Awakening in any form besides fishing. <laughs> I rented the Game Boy game as a kid because I like the fishing game. Hoot. That is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget the next instrument is in Gopanga Swamp. You're gonna level with me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Just watching an awesome streamer. What, you looking in the mirror, Papa Bear? Wink. I always have to say wink out loud because I can't, uh, I can't wink well myself. <laughs> Thinking about that pizza right now? Oh man, I got a pizza last night and it was worth it. I still have leftovers, but I tried not to eat them because I really shouldn't be eating <laughs> pizza. But man, oh man, this. We're definitely going into that swamp. It's your fault you were out here acting like a boomer buying something you saw on Facebook. Is this a gravekeeper? Hey, you made it out here. That uh, speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm Dompe, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. Okay. I'll meet you in your shack, stranger. 
This was an ad thing? Oh no. Next time we see vodka, vodka's gonna have a shirt that says, This Dixie Chicks fan. <laughs> this Dixie Chicks fan loves <laughs> Final Fantasy VI and isn't afraid to tell you about it. Yeah, that's right. He also likes Final Fantasy IV. That's right. The Dixie Chicks bought me this shirt. <laughs> And uh, it's gonna be in like eight different fonts. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace could be a gold mine. I can't say that I've ever really looked through it. Quit showing me buff Isabel fan art. Never stop showing anyone buff Isabel fan, fan art. Dixie Chicks in a Final Fantasy game win? I mean, if Ariana Grande could do it, why not the Dixie Chicks? Yeah, I would love to take Bowo with me everywhere. He's cleaning up. I'll stay posted here while you take care of other business. Just don't leave me waiting too long. I assume I probably have to come back when I have a when I have the shovel. I kind of can't. I know that the swamp is up here. I don't really under. I don't really know how to get back to it because I feel like if I if I jump, is the is Bowo gonna come with me? Let's find out. Oh, okay. I was worried that he wouldn't come with me. Guess I shouldn't have worried. We're gonna go clean up the swamp, my friend. Oh man. <laughs> Wait, are you really looking buff Isabel's? I gotta click ASAP. If Leona Lewis can sing a Final Fantasy song, so can they. Yeah, it is such a weird thing that Leona Lewis had a Final Fantasy song. Like, Florence and the Machine makes sense. You know, the, the, the way that I found out about Florence and the Machine was actually through Dragon Age. Woof, dig, rough. Oh, he tells me where there's places to dig. We gotta go get that shovel. Okay, can you eat the fish? Bow wow, eat the fish. Eat the fish. Oh, okay, eat the flower. That's good enough, too. Oh. Come here. Come here. Perfect. This is excellent. It hurts your heart. Wow! I didn't realize it was going to eat the big thing. This is the best. We're just strolling through like nobody's business. Sharice sang one too? I don't think I know. I don't think I even know who Sharice is. Let's go get the chest and then we'll go in there. Oh god, no! Some okay, so sometimes Bow Wow pulls you, <laughs> it seems like. Or bumps you. I don't know what's happening. But I'm definitely moving against my will. Purple Rupee! Charisse. Which Final Fantasy? Maybe Final Fantasy 14? She sang a song sang New World for 13 to Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And whoever it is transitioned. Good to know. Yeah, I don't know who that is. A perpy. <laughs> I like it. Oh, the... It didn't get to come with us? Oof, this looks heavier than your current strength. Well, cut it. I messed that sentence up. Okay. I don't... I feel like I'm just gonna get electrocuted if I touch that. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, I'm, I'm probably supposed to bring the Bow Wow back, right? <laughs> I'm probably doing this preemptively. I can't really tell. Help me out of here. Come on. There we go. Ah, get that fish. Okay, or don't. Or don't. <laughs> or don't get that fish. It's a good song. Check it out later. We will have to. We will have to. Some of the worst Final Fantasy games have some of the best music. I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy X-2. 1,000 words. Oh, God. That fish is going to catch me. Okay, we got it. We got a, we got a boogie. Oh god! 
<laughs> oh man. I thought I made it. I thought I got out of that situation. I did not. I made it worse. Um, I don't want to go through that. I love having this bow out with me. It's the best. I wonder if it'll if turning it in will give me like a the power wrist or something. I should also check how many rupees I have, because we might be able to go to by the shovel. Ooh, I do. You bet I know her. She was everywhere for a while. The small Filipino girl who sang Whitey Houston a lot. <laughs> I forgot about Whitey Houston. She was in Glee for a short Who was who are they on Glee? I if it was one of the If it was post Supergirl, <laughs> whatever her character's name was, I didn't see it. That was like the last group of characters that I watched. I didn't watch like the late late season simply. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you brought my baby back. Now, would you be a deer and take him for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will? Thanks. Okay. So we just get to keep him. So I but the, the next key is in the swamp. Let's buy the shovel. Maybe with the shovel we can find something that will help us. Hello. Yes, I would like to buy your finest shovel for 200 rupees. Seems expensive. Wait, the shopkeeper is saying to us, Deluxe shovel, 200 rupees. Seems expensive. He's telling us his own stuff is expensive. I should be stealing from this guy. But I'm a kind-hearted citizen of this island, so I will not. You think it was before Supergirl, but it was just a guest star thing? Sunshine Corazon. A singer for another school? That does sound... That name sounds familiar. And I did watch a lot of Glee. It's my... It's my admission to you all that I watched a lot of Glee. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, this is the fishing. All right, so we can dig things up now. Can I just dig everywhere? Yes, I can. Does any Zelda game let you be a bad guy? No, probably not. That's always been my wish for a Pokemon game, Puffy. I really want a Pokemon game where I can be Team Rocket. I know it's kind of a a hack opinion sometimes to people, but I think that'd be fun. Glee was fun until it wasn't. That's very true. It was like when they sent everybody off to New York, but they were also afraid to let them go off to New York. That's when it got like... Okay, so he's telling me to dig. Where? Poop. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was poop. I just saw the top part of the seashell. I thought it was poop. You raid people's homes and break their pottery, but you're cute, so it's okay. Yeah, that's how life works. I want to say we were told to dig up here as well. Oh, God. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to dig a hole around you. Okay. We're, maybe it changes, but I thought we were up here and he said to dig. He, he was, yep. Yep. Where? Here? Here? What do you want from me? Chain jump. Oh, another seashell. I wonder what we do with these. Season 5 and 6 were a damn mess, and now a good portion of the cast are dead. Yeah, that's very true. A lot of people from that show died. I actually saw Mark Salling at a music festival once. Uh, and I was like, oh hey, that's that guy. And then it was probably like six months later that he got busted for the child porn stuff. And I was like, oh no. Now I can't excitedly tell anybody I saw this celebrity. <laughs> but we definitely had like made eye contact. He knew that I recognized him, but I didn't talk to him. I let him live his life. Is that the show with Darren Chris? Yes. People love Darren Chris, man. 
People go ape shit for Darren Chris. Whee! The jump is so satisfying. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Grave Digger. Grave Digger! You guys ever been to a monster truck show? They have no business being as fun as they are. <laughs> but they are. I'll stay posted here while you take care of your other business. Just don't leave me waiting too long. I don't know what you want from me. I'm here. What do you want? Am I supposed to find him something? <laughs> yes, this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I honestly couldn't even tell you the name of any other... Uh, monster truck, though, besides Gravedigger. You're close to Telltale Heights. Don't face check is nearby. Okay. I don't... Can I push this? Nope. Why is that rock, like, glowing? There must be something under it. Tickets are full of the whole seat, but you only need the edge. That's so true. <laughs> I have, man, I haven't heard one of those commercials in a long time. Can I dig up a rock? No. <laughs> what does this say? Back to the swamp. I really wish that I could just get right through and not have to go around here. But I guess I'll try and go back in there. Maybe I was missing something in that puzzle, but it seemed like I needed something else. Ooh. Actually, let's see what's this way. Um. That, that's the witch. We don't need to go to the witch, I don't think. Darren Chris played Hedwig and Hedwig and the Angry Age on Broadway. You get to see it, but not when he was playing Hedwig. You forget who was starring? Ah, that's it's still fun. I got to see Wicked on like their tour, so it wasn't the main cast, but always fun. Use speedrun strats, do the chain ch chain jump skip. I don't know what that means. Hi, Cross. Ooh, I love his little pushy noises. Let's just dig up this graveyard. Oh god! I feel like I should not have pushed the ghost. Why is there a, like a gopher? Oh! 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 You lost your voice for two days after going when you were 13 because you screamed grave deer the whole time. <laughs> when reading chat goes wrong. I can only push it once. I don't understand. This rock has many cracks. Okay, I need bombs, and I need bombs stat. Red Dead 2 is 108 gigs. Damn. Is Rainlight still here? Rainlight was talking about picking up Red Dead Redemption 2. That's that's vital information. I'm married to Beth Denberg, and this is vital information. Okay, let's get out of here. That ghost, that big ghost is scary. Ah, ah! You do want Red Dead Redemption 2 in role-playing style? Yes. I think it'd be really fun for roleplay. But 108 gigs is insane. I mean, Final Fantasy 15 was like 100 and something gigs. That's the... Way of the world with these nice fancy games now. God, I can't I can't go there? I can't go there. I want that. All right. GTA 5 is 80 gigabytes. I did not know that. I've been watching way too much Grand Theft Auto 5 roleplay today. Today our. Uh, Today, one of my coworkers was like, what's that? That's always on your screen. And I was like, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> but today, some great shit happened in Grand Theft Auto V roleplay on like the NoPixel server. It was, oh man, it was so good. I couldn't, I couldn't stop paying attention. Are you having the heinous frame drops that you were having in this game? I haven't had any so far, no. So far, everything has been smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. I was gonna say smooth is like a bald head, but I, I was like, that's not the saying. 
Baby's behind. That's what people always say is smooth. Come on. What was in here? I don't remember what was in here. Oops. No, we only delete quote eighty one forty eight when it's when it's you telling lies, Dusty. Whee! More rupees. We're rich. <laughs> I have smooth like a uh, like a Santana song <laughs> featuring Rob Thomas. Oh, you were telling Jack how to delete. Yeah, you gotta pick the number to delete the quote if you want to delete the quote. Uh, I want to be able to lift things. Speaking of songs that were overplayed, Smooth, yeah, Smooth by Santana, definitely an overplayed. Okay. This area seems like it means something. But I can't understand what. Maybe frame drops are undocked only? It was, oh, you played mostly portable. Yeah, I almost never play anything on the, like, anything on the go except for, like, Binding of Isaac. Let's see if the phone call guy has any hints for me before I go back to that. Bring, bring. Yes, this is Olryra. The indigestible flowers of the Kopanga Swamp. Those flowers are Bow Wow's favorites. Why don't you take him for a walk there? Well, yeah, we figured that part out. Wait, what did you type? I don't understand. Oh, wait, yeah, it didn't delete for you. Maybe only mods can delete a quote, but anybody can add one? That might be that might be what's going on there. Well, it, uh, any sub can add one. I'd have to double check on that, but I don't because I don't remember. It's been a long time since I set it up, but that might be the case. Yeah, exactly. That that sounds like logic. I would have tried to instill. Okay. Oh, maybe I, can I hit this? Nope. 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 It seems like I need to light these. Like, if I were to guess what the puzzle is, it's that I need to light these. But I don't. I don't see how, and I don't have any keys. And I don't think that I can block this with my shield. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Get it out of here. I simply need to steal fire from the gods. Yeah, I'm the king of the jungle. Ooh. <laughs> My desire is man's red fire, and that's what's bothering me. Oh, sure they do. Ah, Link, what do you want from me? Can non-subs call quote? Yes, everybody can call quote. But I think so. I think it's anybody can call quote. Only subs can add a quote. And uh, only mods can delete. But yeah, it was just the space. That was the only thing. Did I see the live action Jungle Book? Yes, I did. I didn't love it. I can't break these. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It really seems like I'm supposed to have the wrist thingy by this point, because this whole swamp is surrounded by it, but I don't know. Let's just chomp up everything. No! Come on! Get the thing! Get the thing! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. You have not liked any of the live action Disney's? You know, I just don't even go see them? Yeah, I did not see Aladdin. I did not see Lion King. I liked Peach Dragon. 
I thought Beauty and the Beast was good at the time, but then I tried to rewatch it and it was like, I was like falling asleep, so I don't know how I feel about it. You didn't like the Peach Dragon one? I thought I liked it. When I was little, I loved Peach Dragon. Like Peach Dragon is one of those movies that my parents despise because of how much I liked it as a kid. Beauty and the Sleep. Ah. <laughs> Watching a clip of it now, it looks like a video game cutscene. Yeah, it has this weird look to it. The indigestible flowers. Okay, we know we have this. You liked Peach Dragon, but you kind of forgot that it was a live action remake. You also didn't like Labyrinth? Your oh, you were like that with Labyrinth. Your siblings still hate that movie. I was... I don't think I've ever seen Labyrinth. My sister liked Labyrinth a lot. I liked Le uh, Never Ending Story a ton. Never Ending Story and Peach Dragon were the two movies that I like. Played out the VHS. Recorded from the TV free weekend. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I've reached my first stump point. Maybe I should go back to town and see if anybody has anything to tell me. Because I feel like I need to be able to light that fire. You like the original Peach Dragon a lot, but the live action, you don't even think you finished it. You know Mulan is going to be more respectful to the original lore without music, but you're still gonna hope it's good because it's your favorite Disney movie. I feel like it could be good. I feel like if anyone has a fighting chance, it's that one. Maybe give Bow Wow up. I already tried, Jack. The lady asks us to take her, take him for a walk. Let's see if Marin has anything to say, and if she doesn't, then we'll ask Taryn if he's awake. Link, Taryn's taking a nap at home. Nope. You like the original Mulan, but straight up don't care about a PG-13 live-action war movie? That's fair, I feel like. Okay, let's see what other items we have here. Oh, <gasps> bow. 980 rupees. <laughs> Eat poop. Eat poop, shopkeep. That's absurd. Let's see what there is in the crane game if he restocked now that we wiped we, since we wiped him out last. That's the thing that speedrunners steal. I can imagine that's so many rupees. I want to steal it. What is the little little chain jump? Yeah. <laughs> Cat poop. It did have the last ever scene of Jer Gary Shandling. Ready? Okay. Oh come on. Oh, baby. Mwah. He did like a week before you saw it in theaters and you didn't know he was in the movie? Let's go for the seashell thing. I don't know what it is. If it's just one of the regular seashells or if it's like a special one. Oops, I fucked up. <laughs> I doubly fucked up. We're gonna bump it a little bit, I think. Oh! Oh! I was about to say, I should not have caught that. <laughs> You're going to eat the kakapoo. So here's a story for you guys. When I was in elementary school, there was a kid who was kind of mean and we didn't really like him much. He like threw me down by my backpack once and one of my friends um, stood up for me. Um, and so one time, this is fucking seashell. One time, we had the great idea that we we told him that we had some like weird foreign candy but really it was cat litter and we put it in a bag and we're gonna let him try some it was clean cat litter not dirty but then i felt really really bad when he was gonna eat it and i told him not to eat it and my friends got mad at me for telling him and i was like i'm not gonna let him eat cat litter that's gross <laughs> this claw game makes yakuza's look impossible if it was dirty cat litter, yeah, absolutely. I would have never even 
considered giving him dirty calendar. You got a chow chow figure. There must be somewhere you can display it. And we got a secret seashell. The kid was he so he threw me down by my backpack that one time. Like he picked me up by my backpack and like swung me and threw me on the walk home from school. And then another time um, he threw a rock at my friend and it hit him in the back of the head and he started bleeding everywhere. <laughs> That's the flashback scene where the hero makes me realize there's a, some good inside me. Can I put this up here? Is this a stand for something? It says Goomba. Okay, so... Is this a stand for something? It says Piranha Plant. I wonder where it goes. Glad you could come in to for some wholesome rock throwing. Yes, lots of wholesome rock throwing around here, Patrick. I'll have you know I have not stolen from the shopkeeper. This is a purely wholesome stream. Pretty sure the smell of it would have given away. That's very true. You would think so. But maybe not from a kid who believed that kitty litter was a um, was a candy. <laughs> you don't have good memories in elementary school? Yeah, a lot of people don't. It's understandable. It says Bow Wow. It says Chow Chow. Play this a chow chow figure here. You're welcome. <laughs> like the real thing, it requires a lot of love and a lot of patience. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you brought my baby back. My baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Baby bow wow on chain. I got my baby bow wow on chain. Take him on a walk. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do next, you guys. Maybe we'll talk to those little kids. We'll see if Taryn's up and then we'll wake up. Yeah. Taryn. Taryn's still sleeping. <laughs> Thief would say that. Right before the shopkeeper lasers you to death. Nope. We people are still calling us by our name. Thank you very much. Uh, so I went to the dungeon, Patrick, but I can't figure out how to get past the first room. I feel like I'm missing something. The giant egg on the top of Mount Tamaranch? says the wind fish is, they say the wind fish is sleeping in front of it inside of it <laughs> why I don't know either where are you from dude outside the island is a dude here what is outside I've never thought about it uh oh we're poisoning their brains you don't think you need anything special to beat the first room we're gonna go back for a third time <laughs> that lady is a chode <laughs> That's my favorite Disney movie, Lady and the Chode. I actually do not like Lady and the Tramp, you guys. I haven't watched that live action either. What is the story here? You're Link on an island, but what are you doing? Yeah, we're trying to leave the island. That's the only bit I know about the story. I've been trying to avoid spoilers. But yeah, we washed up ashore on this island and we're trying to figure our way off of this island. Oh man. Oh, bastard. Stupid Moblin. Oh, you know what else I just realized, you guys? When I was listing Zeldas that I've played, I've played Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I have played a lot of Zeldas. I'm ridiculous that I forgot all these Zeldas that I played. I was not supposed to go this way. You'd say you preferred your middle school years, even though you think you academically did worse. Things picked up a lot in high school. That's good. Yeah, everybody has everybody has different times, and you still have a lot of your life in, in, to, uh, to peak. <laughs> where are you wanting me to dig? Where do you- where? I don't- here? Thank you. Today was Water Temple Day. You don't want to pick up a Zelda ever again. Water Temple is definitely frustrating. I specifically remember... Um, I had this friend in elementary school. In fifth grade. I remember it was in fifth grade because he moved away in fifth grade. And we used to spend all day on the phone playing Ocarina of Time. And I remember doing the Water Temple and trying to figure it out together. And like I had a guide and even with the guide I was still kind of like, I'm not sure what it's telling me here. 
Like we were we were friends to the point where like when they moved away, um, our parents like talked and were like basically set up a play date for us <laughs> so that we could say goodbye to each other. Link to the past and Link Between Worlds are still your favorites. I loved I loved Link Between Worlds. I just never got around to finishing it. And I've never played Link to the Past. But I have it. I have it. So we'll get to it eventually. Come on, you. Come on. Look at that. Yeah, eat them all up. Eat them all up. You peaked in preschool? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm Gorbush. <laughs> you saw the live action Lady in the Tramp and you didn't think it was too bad? And that's true. Yes, of all those Zeldas, I have not beaten a single one. I gave up on Breath of the Wild because I couldn't get up the hill. <laughs> I couldn't get up the mountain. <laughs> and so I was like, ah, whatever. See, this is where I am. I guess the only thing that I have that I haven't tried. Let's see if the magic powder does anything. I've been here. This is my third time being here. And I've had that the entire time. <laughs> I even kind of thought it to myself last time I came. But I was like, nah. I don't think that does anything except for turn raccoons back into men. <laughs> I guess it's not. Oh, man. I, I have the powder. <laughs> I have the powder! Gosh darn it. <laughs> You can play Link to the Past on the Switch if you're a Switch Online member. Oh, I have a Super Nintendo and a copy of it I, that I just recently got. I never had a Super Nintendo until, like, less than a year ago. Oh, I see what this is. Can I hit this? Yes, I can. Oh, God, I didn't even see you there. Grim Reaper. Womp, 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 womp. I don't think I knew that there was a water temple in Majora's Mask. I never got that far. I like this. This is very Binding of Isaac. I love these noises. <laughs> we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you, old, old chap. Oh my goodness. What are you? Oh. The the secret reveal noise in Zelda games is so satisfying. Pretty much every sound effect in this game is satisfying. I also enjoy that I kind of accidentally stumbled upon the magic powder. And if I had not, I would have been so stuck. Oh god. Why wait, why are there shy guys in Zelda? <laughs> are there sh normally shy guys in Zelda? Your saddest Zelda moment was playing Wind Waker before the remaster? Uh-oh. I do have it on the Wii U. Maybe eventually we'll play that. But I don't know how I feel about sailing. <laughs> Magic powder is part of the story. Go back and be a murder hobo. <laughs> come on, come on. I, why? I want that. <laughs> like, why won't you give this to me? They fixed the sailing in the remaster, but the original game is pale, <laughs> painful. AKA, go kill the guys. Look at there. We'll figure it out. Whoever I was supposed to kill. Oh, I probably could have killed the shy guys with the magic powder, you're saying. Shy guys are new to this game. It was pale, yes. It made you want to vomit every time you did it. <laughs> I love these. Actually, you know what? I just realized that room had um, torches I could have lit. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Can I, can you not? Can you stop? 
I am a poor little boy. With beady little eyes. Eee! Okay, I got the hang of that near the end there. Shy guys were in the original along with chain jumps and some Mario references. Today I learned. Why can't I? Yeah, sometimes these fairies do not want to hang out. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a poor boy. I can't go that way. What's this way? Now can I go that way? No. I see. You love the mid-boss theme? I think this whole game has such good music. I like it. I've been enjoying it. Why did the music change there? That's a little unsettling. Actually, can I? <laughs> All you had to say was no. Oh my god. I want that chest, but I don't want to get sucked into the void. Oh, we got the map. <laughs> That was not as bad as I anticipated. I see now that the little baggie means magic powder. I understand. Booze? <laughs> That's right. That's right, you little punks. You think the map menu sounds are from Breath of the Wild? I just assumed every one of these shared sounds. I found the power bracelet! At last, you can pick up pots and stones. Do I have to equip that or is it in Is it in Yes. I was like, is it passive? Oh my god. We're gonna be smashing shit forever. I'm gonna smash it forever and ever. I have that amiibo vodka. It's sitting right over there. You can't see it, but it's here. I haven't encountered where we were supposed to use it yet, so I haven't worried about it. <laughs> that noise is so funny. Is is it passive? What do you what? Is it was that is that not It's passive? As in like I don't have to equip it, is what I mean. What do you what do you what do you mean? It's right there. I didn't have to equip it. It's there. In the original is an item and it's the most annoying thing ever. Oh, okay. I understand. You're upset. You're upset by the past. That and the boots? Oh, man. <laughs> have I just sold you on this? I actually just realized. I don't know. Do you have a switch? Ish, ish. <laughs> does that mean your girl? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, does that mean your your girl has one and you sometimes use it, but your sister stole it for a month? <laughs> She's now excited about the March Animal Crossing release. You tell her uh, with whose switch. <laughs> I'm excited for the March Animal Crossing release. My body is ready. <laughs> I love that Mr. Rossetti emote. I love smashing pots. I love smashing pots. Look at this stuff. Can I not hit you? Are you... I can lift this? What? What does that even mean? What are you? I don't really understand what I've done here. This is an interesting puzzle. If you bump into anything, push or pick up up a bowl in the original you were forced to read through the slow text telling you to use the power bracelet every time <laughs> that's awful <laughs> hmm. 
What does this mean? We'll come back to this room. Those skeletons kind of hustle, man. It feels so mean to bump those down. Alright. Um, I do have a key. So many choices. Let's go this way first, though. This is where I always suffer in Zelda games, is... Decisions, decisions. Okay. I think I see. Ah! Butthead. Speaking of butthead, Beavis and Butthead tomorrow night. It's happening. Hopefully, as long as the cartridge works. I guess I shouldn't hype it up without knowing if the cartridge works. Wrong button. Wrong button a million times. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. We need this. We needed this. I've made many mistakes. Oh, I have to go all the way around again. Actually, let's go back to the start. Oh, this is not the room I thought it was. Never mind. I didn't mean to do that either. <laughs> I'm wasting this, uh... This magic powder everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. <laughs> you know what I was about to start singing is, uh... <laughs> embarrassing to admit as it is, is... A Hollywood Undead song. Everywhere I go, bitches wanna know why Charlie Sini's got a weenie that he loves to show. <laughs> oh, vodka. I'm glad. I'm glad you, you got your kicks. On Route 66. 50 rupees? Okay, now let's go this way. Jesus, those things get me every single time. Not that time. <laughs> I like how he's just sitting down there. You found a stone beak. Now to find an owl statue to fit it into. I, we've seen quite a few of those. I wonder if there's any one in particular. I should be trained in these from Binding of Isaac, but their timing is a little off compared to Binding of Isaac. Come on. This is the jumpiest skeleton. Um, okay. This time we'll try and fight the shy guys and see if we can figure that out. What are you doing? See, I don't understand how I am supposed to fight them. This seems like I should be able to push it. I was told that I should kill them, but I don't see... I don't see a way. Oops. Not that. That's not the way. Can I make them push the thing? Nope. I don't understand then. You? Boink. Okay. Oh, there's an owl with the thing. Make every block design the same. A new path will open. Make every block path. Oh, we already did that. 
That's an old hint. So is this, hopefully this beak is reusable and I didn't just waste it on that. Woo! I would be so bad at Super Mario Maker, you guys. I mean, I know that I am. I own the game. I'm bad at it. I don't know if I ever did this. I think this is the place I was looking for. Ooh. Why? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. No, nothing? No reason for this? All right. Why? Okay, we already did that. I went all the way back around for that and there was nothing there. Every single time you watch someone play Mario Maker, you're tempted but you're not creative and you rage easy. That's, if anything, I think I would like making levels, but the problem would be that I would need to be able to beat my own level, <laughs> which I'm not, I don't think I could if I ever made a good one. Where do we need to go? Let's see what's up these stairs. I don't think we've, oh yeah, we have, because there's piranha plants to come out of that, so we have gone that way. Let's read what this guy has to say. First, defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice. Last, skeletal Stalfos. Okay. I don't think I know what a Paul's voice is, but we'll try and figure it out. I think the, the Stalfos is the skeleton, obviously. So I need to beat this first. Is what it sounded like? Or do I just need to free it? Hey, not nice. Did it just say I needed to free it or did I have to defeat it? Do you guys remember? Cause I don't remember. And it's been like five seconds. Well, that would make sense why I was stuck in this room earlier, because I wasn't doing it right. You for sure were tabbed out? Shit. You think it said defeat? I don't think you can do anything to it, though. No comment. <laughs> Let's throw it at it. <laughs> All right, let's go back up there and read that then, because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, unless I'm not supposed to be killing the bat. <sighs> that was a nice twofer. Whee! No! <laughs> I was trying to style on him. Look at him go. Wah! Let's talk to this owl one more time. First, defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice. How? I don't understand. I can see how to disable it. Maybe I can, can I bait the Stalfos into defeating it actually? Oh, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, you go first. Like, maybe I can bait it into throwing its staff or its uh, spear at it. No! Not like this! I'm gonna waste all my freaking um, magic powder on accident. Oh, oh god, leave me alone. Bastard. Okay, you come here. Come here. No. <laughs> I would like to... Okay, come here, come here. Yes! Like this! No, like this! <laughs> I don't think this is the way! Oh, maybe I... 
um, stun it and then position this. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'll take a hint. Can't you take a hint? Nobody likes you. Ah! I really need some help. Pottery hurts. I th ah, that thought crossed my mind and then I didn't do it. Oh. Okay. First things first. First thing first. <laughs> I'm the bat. Butthead. That was not it. That was not a good throw. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I would have been stuck there a while. Uh-uh. Why uh-uh? Am I supposed to leave the bat? It said nothing about a bat. <laughs> Why'd you have to kill the bunny thing? Because the owl told me to, Tuner. It was the law. The law of the land declared that I must hurt the bunny. First, defeat the imprisoned pole's voice. Last. Oh, last. It's a riddle. Duh. Last. Does not mean... Okay. So the bunny rabbit. Then the bat. Then the... Skeletal Staffles. Duh. The doy. Hello. Now you. Now you. Ah ha ha! Yeah, I'm kind of a big genius, guys. <laughs> First try. No hints. No. Too many tries. And a hint. You got the nightmare key. My whole life is a nightmare key. Okay. I need some help. Hey! That is the opposite of what I just said I needed. Okay, let's go this way. need to hydrate. I think I told you guys already, but I dropped my... Oh, no! Oh, my God. I dropped my uh, Brita pitcher earlier. It was a real tragedy. No! I need some hearts before I go down these stairs. That's such a millennial thing to say. We have awful water quality. Pretty much everyone here uses some sort of water filter. Oh, fairy, please. Whew. Was it full? It was, like, pretty full. It wasn't all the way full. Um, luckily, because it has the thing in the top, like, it kind of prevented a lot of it from spilling out, but a lot of it still spilled out. Uh, oh, you meant the whole my life. My whole life is a nightmare. Um... I worried more so about the... It probably was really, really loud to my downstairs neighbors and I felt bad. Because it made like a full-on clunk. You have to buy cases of water because the water there is horrible. Yeah, it's awful. Like, I'm sure even with a Brita filter, I'm probably still... Hey. Paying a, Or drinking a lot of gross shit, but... Better than nothing. Hmm. You have to give Ori bottled water, but you suffer through tap. Why? 
Why? How? Just reminding you that you're still here, supporting me from the shadows. Thank you, Rolo. Shadow man, Rolo. I don't know what I'm supposed to- You know what? There was an owl in one of these in up here, I think. Let's go talk to the owl and see what he has to say. Except for when it tastes of chlorine, you refuse to use ice cubes out of the refrigerator. Yeah, ice- I- the ice makers here make awful tasting ice. So yeah, I use like a good old fashioned ice cube tray with a cover so that nothing gross gets on it. You drink well water? That actually sounds kind of nice. Bonk, bonk. Well, wrong color. Wrong color. Let's see. Is the best tasting water? I bet. I love- I've been to Sweden a few times, and the water there was great. And it was so nice. You could just drink it from everywhere. Okay, there was not an owl here. For some reason I thought there was an owl here, but let's just see what's this way. Nope, no owls here. Well, water's kind of slimy. I feel like maybe it varies depending on the well. Well, well, well. I'll be here all week, folks. You think when you get spam and you press unsubscribe and you gotta enter your email, are they just putting you on another list? I don't like when they make me answer like, well, why? Why do you want to unsubscribe? None of your business. I don't want your emails, punk. Okay. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure my life out here. We got another acorn. You don't know what's wrong with your water, but your water is not slimy. It's probably depends. It probably depends on the place, is what I would guess. I don't know what you would like from me. Did I miss a room? Oh, I missed a bunch of rooms. Okay, let's go down. Unless, is this where I'm supposed to be going to? We'll see if we can figure it out. Let's try and see if we can get to the other room. Well, no, I think these are the only rooms that I have. Oh, there's a key room right here that I didn't go through. Let's go do that. That's gonna take a little bit to get to. You notice when you wash your hands, you always feel like you still have soap in your hands? You wash them for minutes and they still feel slippery? Huh, that's interesting. Oh, maybe we could carry a pot to the platform. That's a good suggestion. We'll see. We'll see. I want to go check out this room that we didn't go to for sure. But wait, I don't have a key. I was going to say, maybe you need a water softener. But I thought that was maybe for the opposite problem. Like if your water's not slimy. Hoo <laughs> we bonked them. Oopsie. Bum bum bum. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Why can't I heal? And kind of doesn't mean very. Oh yeah, I didn't assume you were like, Oh, my hands, they're covered in slime! Okay, so here is definitely a thing that I missed. There is a key. There is a keyhole. But we have no key. We lack the key. Let's go back this way then. Zelda dungeons are always so fun. They honestly, historically, are what used to stump me. What 
What does this have to say? Part of the floor is raised. Tap the shining crystal. Okay, well, yeah, we got that. Maybe... Does anything fun happen if I... If I do this and then stand on it? Whee! I don't think that's right. Maybe? Well, that was fun to do. <laughs> so the only thing that I haven't figured out is how to kill these shy guys. They don't react to... Can I bounce on them? And it seems like I should be able to push these. I would imagine this is where I'm missing a key. Because it seems unlikely that these guys would exist for no reason. Do I have any other items? I have a shovel. <laughs> Don't think the shovel is going to help me. Can I trick them to where somehow they face the other direction? Oh, I see. I figured it out, you guys. And I didn't even need a hint. <laughs> Sup, JQ? You tried to give me a hint, but I beat you just barely. <laughs> just barely. How are you and how is little JQ? Yes, 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 yes. I'm not very good at this though. They're like opposite of booze. You're a bastard. There we go. Ha ha! Give me the key! I still wish I could push that. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. That's what they all say. <laughs> oh no, you were saying little JQ is good. <laughs> Not me. I'm arrogant. <laughs> That's good to hear. The well water in Tennessee is definitely slimy. Yours was dug straight out of a rust deposit, so not only So not only you'd get slimy, but you'd come out of the shower red. Jesus. That sounds like a nightmare. Completely unrelated to my stream, but you just realized why the poker hand is called a full house. I don't think I'd know. That wasn't the intended way, but you guess that works. Are you supposed to- I'm assuming you're supposed to, like, trick them into facing, like, like, through patterns. You're probably supposed to trick them to facing in the right way. But if this works... If it's dumb but it works, it's not dumb. Isn't that the saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> if it's dumb but it doesn't work, then it is dumb. <laughs> Actually, it made you really sick, so you had to move. Jeez. Yeah, that does not sound healthy to be uh, <laughs> bathing in rust water. <laughs> Dang it. All that for the compass. I'm still I still don't know where I'm supposed to how I'm supposed to get through that one room. But we always have ja we have Jack's suggestion that maybe I should take a pot with me. I need some health. Yeah, that's really bad, but I'm glad that your family, at least, chose you <laughs> in the situation. Sometimes you get the buttons mixed up. <laughs> you want me to tell me the real way uh, to kill the shy guy since I got them all? Yeah, sure. Your family chose rust water over you. 
Sad. The sad tale of Dusty. <laughs> that sounds like an episode of Mori. Or of MTV's True Life. True Life. My parents chose <laughs> rust water over me. <laughs> Come here, you. Face away from them and do a spin attack. That makes 100% more sense than what I was doing, Captain Dingpot. <laughs> like, 100 million percent more sense than the spin tricks I was trying to do. What up, Master Wuggles? You didn't end up beating this? You remember this dungeon, though? I've. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in this game in my whole life. I don't think I ever made it past the first dungeon when I was younger, so. You know what? We're gonna call this a personal best. What about the owl? Oh, we had already talked to that owl. I think. Oh! <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I was on the cusp of bragging about my sweet jump dodge, you guys. And I'm really glad that I didn't get the words out. Then you have to drink bottled magnesium citrate to flush your body. Jesus. Rolo. This is what I assume everything about living in Tennessee entails. Yeah, we'll try it. Next time we run into some shy guys, we'll try doing it the proper way. Instead of my uh, homemade flip tricks. I was hoping I could maybe just jump on those. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It's so cute. Uh oh. Oh, not uh oh. Crisis averted. Why is. Oh, I don't know why that was happening. Get off me! Sometimes I keep jumping instead of um, hitting the sword. Tennessee is a horrible place and nothing you see about it on TV is true. Um, they have really good hot chicken. That's true. That's not a lie. Okay, let's see what we can what we can make happen here with these. With this platform that we're stuck on. Can we carry a pot? Nope. Oh, duh, there's pots down here. I was like, well, that goes there goes that plan. Good call, Jack. That was a good call. You were correct Amundo, my friend. I would have been stuck there a while. Okay. I know it wants me to go up that way, but why does this corner exist? That seems suspicious. I'm ready. I'm ready for my next instrument. What are you? Ugh! I thought it was gonna turn into like a snake, <laughs> not a clown. Ho ho ho, I'm the bad guy. I didn't hear what that said. He's a genie. That's definitely a clown living in denial. That it's a clown. And it's like, I'm a genie. <laughs> oh, I probably have to use this. There was a theme here, and it's probably this. Oh, maybe not. Ugh, I can't move. But I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here are tougher than that, think you think. That's right, they are tough, punk. Nya nya, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. There's a big old crack in that bottle now, my friend. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, I'm the bad guy this time. <laughs> that is, that's like the ultimate entrance. Ho ho ho! I my entrance now is just to enter a room and laugh like the charm saleswoman from the 
<laughs> Hollow Knight. <laughs> Just sit in the corner and only do that until people look at me. Where? You you broke my bottle. Why you you make me hopping mad? Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! What is this? Nope. Oh my god! I'm gonna die. I don't really understand what you want, game. Maybe? Maybe we live a little longer? I don't- this is- Okay, we lived. Huh. Do you ever laugh like that at work? Because you think that'd be awesome? I make a lot of stupid laughs at work, but I don't know that I've done that one yet. I've definitely done the, uh, like, Krusty the Clown slash Woody Woodpecker laugh at work. Um, you guys know Grizzleberry Pie in the chat? Um, she sits across from me and I will sometimes, I'll be like, hey, would you be friends with me? If I was like, <laughs> perfect, perfect raid timing, Tassel. <laughs> hello, hello everyone. They're honking, they're honking mad. You're surprised this fire only took half a heart? Yeah, me too. I'm surprised I didn't die to be perfectly honest. Hi everybody. Hello, hello, hi, hey, hello, hi. I'm Kristen, nice to meet you. If you guys, I feel like I feel like we're all pretty familiar with each other these days. But if you guys don't know Tazel, you should check out Tazel. She does a variety stream. She was playing Untitled Goose Game tonight, uh, and her stream is a lot of fun. And the community is very nice, and I'm very happy to see them here right now. Hi everybody. Hey Root. Hi Tazel. Hi Mine. Hi Killer Muskrat. Hi Philandrin. Smiler. Larkin. The gang's all here. I do have a grub from Hollow Knight as my emote. He's wearing a train conductor's hat, but we didn't think about when we were doing it the, the fact that um, light mode existed, so it might look weird in light mode, but if you're on dark mode, you can see that sick uh, cr train conductor's hat. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Rosa. And hi. Kato! Um, I am playing Link's Awakening now on Tuesdays and Thursdays since we wrapped up the majority of Hollow Knight, and it's my first time playing it past the town basically so for the for all intents and purposes it's my first time playing it and we just beat the second dungeon things are going well i've only needed a couple of hints it actually still looks good in light mode heck yeah <laughs> root thinks he looks cooler because he has a mohawk <laughs> i also have the grub from hollow knight plush you can almost make it out back there on my tiny webcam but it's super cute and it makes chattering noises and i love it you only use light mode stacks, you madman. <laughs> Dingpot, that's not how we greet our that's not how we greet raid guests, my friend. <laughs> that's No, no, no. <laughs> you got the conch horn. I'm timing out timing you out just for like 1 second, uh captain, just so that that message gets deleted. You're not uh, in. You're not in trouble or anything, but please, please don't. Boop. Prairie, prairie, the prairie is waiting. You don't like what dark mode does to the name colors? Yeah, there are some name colors that are almost illegible on dark mode. I will. I'm with you there. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention to what we did. Okay, so do I take Bow Wow back now? Let's figure it out. I can lift stuff up now, so the world is basically my waster. Look at me go. Thank you for the follow, Killer Muskrat. I normally have flashy lights on for when you guys follow, but I just realized that I forgot to turn them on tonight, so just pretend. Just pretend that the lights flashed when you followed. You love dark mode because your eyes hurt otherwise? I'm with you. I don't use light mode on Reddit, and that's pretty much the only thing I don't use dark mode for. You only use light mode at 100% brightness. Sex. I, I feel like you're joking, but maybe you're not. <laughs> I can't. I can't even tell. <laughs> Merely adopted the dark. I actually didn't have um, light mode. Or I didn't have dark mode on iMessage for a while, and I finally caved and put that on. And that's. Oh, you know what? Let's go do. Uh, that was me talk good. Let's go do. Uh, <laughs> there's that little that little mini puzzle in the in the forest for the heart container or for the heart piece let's go do that 
Yes, yes, vodka. You stepped away for a second, and Tazel rolled rolled deep with her, with her mob. By the way, uh, Tazel, how far did you get in Goose Game tonight? Did you beat it? And did you like it? Most importantly. You heard they got rid of Mr. Right in this game? You beat it? It's fun. It's not that long of a game either. It's but it's a fun time. You were working on the hard stuff when you raided. I tried a little bit of the hard stuff and then I gave up. Mr. Wright is actually, since we're not too far, I will just show you that he still exists. I don't really know much about him, so maybe they nerfed him or like took away part of his role or something, but he's still there. Right here. Right here. Actually, I can break all his stuff now. Let's break all his stuff. He's Will Wright from the City Sim City games? I didn't know that. All right, good night, Tuzzle. Thank you again for the raid. And yeah, I should have said this, but if you guys came over from the raid and we haven't met before, I'm Kristen. I also do a variety stream, or Kristen, whichever. Whichever is easier for you to say out loud is what you can call me. Um, so yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays right now, we're doing this Link's Awakening. Tomorrow, we are playing Beavis and Butthead on the Sega Genesis. So a stark change in what we're playing now. Um, and then on Saturdays, we're playing Final Fantasy XII, which is a lot of fun, and I like it a lot. That's actually the SimCity theme in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that. You guys are full of Easter eggs. You're the best. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Bow Wow saved me there. <laughs> Do you need TP for your bunghole? So the only thing I remember about the, the Beavis and Butthead game is that the, the mission of the game is that we're trying to find uh, tickets to Guar, if I remember correctly. Thank you, Dingpot, by the way, for saying that. That was nice of you. I'm sorry for your one second time out. <laughs> this plays in the SimCity menu on Super Nintendo. I don't think I even knew that there was a SimCity on Super Nintendo. Okay, I'm gonna come back in from this direction. Guar. I don't know much about Guar. Like, I know- I obviously know their antics and stuff, but... Heck yeah, look at this go. You know that the, pub the puzzles in Beavis and Butthead are super hard? Really? I'm excited to see that, actually. <laughs> it's terrible, but you loved it, SimCity Super Nintendo? That feels like it would not be fun. I used to play the- there's this game on Sega Genesis, and it was just called Theme Park. And I remember my sister and I loved it, man. On Because we, we had Sega Channel for a little bit, and we would play it on Sega Channel all the time. The Bullfrog Games game? I don't know what that is. I know, I know it was only five seconds, but I still feel bad. Where you build a park? Maybe. It, I, I'm pretty sure it was just called Theme Park. That's all I remember about it, is that it was called Theme Park. Let's put the shovel back so that I stop using um, dust on accident. You didn't have a PC, so it was your introduction to Sim anything? I remember getting the Sims for PC because I was so excited that I convinced my mom to let me get it because she was hesitant because the cover the <laughs> because the co the back cover said something about how the Sims woohooed and that it had mature themes and my mom actually read covers and like cared what she got me in that sense um, so I but I was like no it's censored Ugh. and she let me end it. She ended up letting me get it, and I was very happy. I guess I shouldn't have changed this out. Going back a few seconds in the Beavis and Butthead game, getting tickets to Guar. Um, it's Guar with a W, and it's a band who's they're like a, I guess are they, they're they're metal, but it's like a showy type of metal, and they wear masks, and they like their th their whole thing is that they're like gross weirdos. <laughs> they like like when you go to a Guar concert, they like pour buckets of, not real blood, but like pour buckets of blood on you and stuff like that. So, um, it's a very specific thing. 
and they're not really a th I mean they're a thing nowadays but in the same way that any band from when Beavis and Butthead is popular is popular nowadays <laughs> mom I'm 21 and Noah woohoo is <laughs> I do not like Planet Coaster you guys uh, that is my confession you got way farther than this and you don't think you ever found this guy I, this was an accident let's see what little devil has to say hey kid he woke me up from a fine nap thanks a lot but now we'll get my revenge uh oh are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. Hehe. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Was I not supposed to be ready? Hehe. <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Ha! Take care. See you again. Well, that was. Oh my god. That was. That was. That was excellent. God damn it! I immediately forgot that I had it equipped. I wanted to dig. <laughs> well, that was handy. That was an excellent find, yeah. The guy who wrote Theme Park also wrote Theme Hospital, which is insanely good. I've actually been thinking about playing Two Point Hospital because I have that. And I've been kind of hankering for a sim type game lately that I haven't already played. Because I've played a lot of <laughs> You think you would, I would really like the humor in Theme Hospital? I might. I do love me a fun game. Oh yeah, my whole point of going here right again now is I was going to go here. Do I have to turn Bow Wow back in? Switching machines? All right. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here at all, so I assume that I probably cannot do whatever it is yet. We'll come back. You think you watched Jacksepticeye play Roller Coaster Tycoon? So Roller Coaster Tycoon, I like. Planet Coaster, I... Um, I guess I shouldn't say that I don't like Planet Coaster so much as I couldn't figure Planet Coaster out for some reason. It would like give me prompts and I would try to do them. And then they, it would, for whatever reason, it would be like, I would, so I forget what it was. It was like, I needed a place for my janitors. And so I made a place for my janitors. And then it wasn't good enough. Like it just wouldn't count that I had made the place for my janitors and I couldn't figure out why. And I probably spent like an hour trying to figure out how to play this freaking game. <laughs> Roller Coaster Tycoon was made in almost pure assembler. Interesting. What is this lady doing up here? In her love motel. Uh -huh. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret. I mean, we have to buy our little secret, right? <laughs> Alright, come here and I'll rub it on ya. Mm, there, I've applied my own secret medicine. It'll take effect when you lose all heart. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Thanks, Crazy Tracy. Let me break all your stuff. So I assume that will revive me when I die, is what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, just the just your casual kids game, you know. Must have been a pain in the ass to port. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like ah, I don't know a lot about programming, but I imagine that back in the day, it was either way easy or way hard to port games. It had to have been right, because either everything was one thing, or everything was its own very distinct thing. <laughs> if that, these are good thoughts that I'm formulating here, guys. <laughs> Link pays 40 rupees to spend time with the local prostitute. How dare you speak of, of uh, Crazy Tracy that way? I'm supposed to go to the meadow. So let's talk to this guy again because I didn't ever figure out what exactly he wanted me to do. Hi, sir. Good seeing you. Got your other stuff squared away for right now? In that case, let's step into my shack. Why is that shaking? What is this? Oh, that was me. Okay, let's go to the shack. Hello! I don't know where the shack is. Well, you see a faded sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the grave. Shack! What is this waystone thingy? Is it a waypoint? Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. Yes, I should. Uh, 
You would think it would be way harder? What did that do? I didn't even look. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I can go from the chicken, the dancing chicken, whatever it is, the fish. Porting a game from assembler basic requires a complete rewrite. Mamma mia. I'll be along once I get the sign posted. Okay, what does the sign say? Dompe Shack, the strangest dungeon of all. Dompe. Do you guys do you guys know the song Rompe? By uh, I think it's by Daddy Yankee. Cause that's what I think of when I read Dompe. I just wanna be like na 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 Dompe, Dompe, Dompe. Let's see what this is. I'm getting distracted on the way to where we're supposed to be going. No, no, no. <laughs> what does that face mean, Vodka? That you do or you don't know that song? Should be able to run an emulator to play Roller Coaster Tycoon? I actually think I can run it just normally. I have the, t I have the disc for Roller Coaster Tycoon, you guys. <laughs> Not to brag, but... Uh, Cross Cottonwood, who's here sometimes, he messaged me the other day that he was working at someone's home and he was like, look at these ancient games that I found. And they, I was like, I own every single one of those games on physical copy, you monster. They were Roller Coaster Tycoon, Mist, and something else, I don't remember. But uh, every single one of them, I was like, how dare you? <laughs> you miss Etika? Etika? I don't know what that is. You know, Dompe has some fantasies he needs to share with the world. You don't know the song Rompe by Daddy Yankee. What are you even doing with your life? Basically, it's about butts, because I'm pretty sure Rompe uh, means ass. So I think the chorus is just ass, ass, ass. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island. I can tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there, and it'll turn into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? <laughs> but I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeon you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what I you got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon. You've got to adventure through it, too. I'm no designer, though, and I'm no adventurer, either. That's all up to you. I'll make the wor risk worth it. Impress me, and there's treasure in it for you. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. So does he make optional dungeons? Yeah, that's, I think Roller Coaster Tycoon does run on Windows 10. You got some new chambers. Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. Where are you here for? Oh, <gasps> Amiibo. You listen to some classy tunes? Heck yeah, I do. Roller Coaster Tycoon Open is a really dope mod. Hmm. I don't want to arrange any of these yet. This seems like a late game thing to do. Oh, well, no big deal. You wrote a five line function in assembly and it nearly killed you. <laughs> doesn't sound fun. It does not sound fun. I have the amiibo too. I'll have to open it before we go there. Because as I said, it's not open right now. Let's go see if we turn Bow Wow back in. Because I, I don't really know where the meadows are. Actually, do I know where the meadow is? My tummy's growling, guys. Is it picking up on Mike? Because <laughs> it's like going. Oh, let's see what's down here. You get used to it, but you have to think a lot when you write assembler. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Did I try growling back at it? That's a good tip. <laughs> hot, hot tip. Bonk. That felt, that felt so mean. Oh, we've been here. We just didn't have bombs last time. I also want to say that yeah, I couldn't do this last time. I wonder why that... Okay, we need bombs. Hopefully that's on the list soon. Oh, 
Oh, I do. Once you said it's a YouTuber, I do know who Atika was. He was famous from the reactions he made from Nintendo Direct, but unfortunately a lot of drama going around. Yeah, I remember who that is now. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's Etika, right? Or I, I know I've been saying it wrong now that I know who it is as well. Let's go back to town real quick, and then we will re-adventure up this way. Now that we can open all these new pathways by lifting things. I'm interested to see. Also, the owl hasn't really talked to us yet. The game told us to go to the field. Oh, this is the field, actually. I accidentally stumbled in. I was trying to make it back to town. Richard's Villa. That sounds like... <laughs> um... There is definitely a, an adult entertainment town, uh, an, an adult entertainment uh, joint here in uh, Las Vegas. I'm that is called like Frankie's Villa or something like that. Etika, yeah. Ahem, really must insist that you not bring that awful beast in here. Leave that creature outside, and then we can talk. Okay, so we have to. Yeah, I think we have to turn Bow Wow back in. Well, that'll be easy if I can figure out how to. Get Get back to the town. Oh, man, I missed the village <laughs> by a very long shot. Let's get back to the village. Hut, 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 hut. This is definitely the furthest I've ever gotten in any Zelda, <laughs> like, top-down game, I feel like. No, maybe Link Between Worlds, I got a decent... I got to the... The... Like other side in A Link Between Worlds, if that makes sense. I don't want to, like, spoil it too bad. You enjoyed his reactions? Yeah, it's, 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 it's an interesting world with, like, creators online and stuff, because it's such a different barrier between us, us and them. You know, it sounds weird to even say that, but it seems to hit a little harder when, when, people from like Twitch or YouTube and stuff go because you feel like you yeah I don't know it just feels like it's easier to connect an animal village oh let's see before we do anything let's see what is currently on the slate to crane game I love the crane game we're gonna check every time we come to town oh oh the Goomba and the rock what's the rock I wonder Speaking of Vegas, remember that time you called Selena Wash? <laughs> you remember reading an article today that her residency in total 16 years brought 80, $850 million and she's going to have a new one. I didn't call Celine Dion washed up. I said that at the time, she was not at the top of her, like, her star was not rising when she started her residency. It's not to say that it's a bad show or that she's washed up. It's just that Britney started the precedence of, like, young, fresh artists having residencies. You love Animal Village? I'm excited. You're surprised I haven't finished, what, the game? <laughs> yeah, see? Bide your tongue. Bide your tongue, young vodka fun. Okay, let's watch this. It stops. Okay, I understand the plane at which it stops now. And then I also need to account for the time it's going to take for the crane to actually fall down. So I'm thinking... Nope, too slow. Oh, maybe not. Holy crap, you guys. It's just that residency in Las Vegas means they are washed up. But it now that's what I'm saying is nowadays it doesn't mean that someone's washed up. And yeah, they, and they make a ton of money now doing it too. And Backstreet Boys used it as like a weird leverage to like as a comeback. People were loving the Backstreet Boys. I timed that way wrong. Again, again. I want this Goomba. Another thing you might want to know is that there is a village with villagers in it. That's a good thing to know. <laughs> Are we in it currently? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe? I love the crane game. I love the crane game. <laughs> Sorry for clapping into the mic, but I'm so excited. You and the wife are in the middle of a flavor of love rewatch and you're on the final three of season one. Yeah, so many good TV moments. That is such a good final three. You got a Goomba figure. You got a chamber stone. Oh, it's for the thingy that we just learned about. <laughs> we got a badass crane player here, folks. I do what I can. I do what I can. If I have to have some skill in life, it's got to be crane games. Yeah, it's very satisfying to win the crane game. Look, it's Chaos Hand. I don't know if you guys know Chaos Hand at all. But he's been eating a lot of bananas on stream lately. And this is him. In a nutshell. I'm gonna clip this later and show it to him. I was hungry something fierce. So I went and got bananas at the beach. Link, if you want some, you should go and get some. I already have bananas. Thank you very much. One of these is for a Goomba. Goomba. Oh, first try. Let's place it. At least I didn't get a chamber pot. Good call. Have you ever tried those crane game apps from like Japan where you can play on your phone and apparently win things and they mail it to you? No. I did play crane games when I was in Japan and the ones in Japan feel more rigged than anything I've ever played. <laughs> but they were still fun. I liked them. Ho ho ho! I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You're such a nice boy. How could I ever repay you? I know. That's harassment. She smooched us. You got a reward from Madame Meow Meow. L lucky Are we though? <laughs> don't know. Okay, I was gonna say, don't touch me again. <laughs> Can't wait to speed run through season two and go straight into Charm School. Charm School is honestly the best. The best thing of all flavor of love media is Charm School, for sure. He blushed. He did blush. We have a lot to go until we get the bow and arrow, you guys. Hey. I just love to sing. What can I say? What do you like to do, Link? Get kissed by old women against my will. How do I teleport back to that teleport stone? I thought I could teleport using that thing, but I guess not. Madame Meow Meow also apparently abuses her dog. What? You can only play the game if you have coins, which you have to buy. There are no free coins. Like the these app games? You guys, I want you to know how cold it was here today. As we've established, I live in the desert, where it's supposed to be warm. And on Saturday, or no, on Sunday, it was so warm that I had my window open. Like, it was beautiful outside. And then this morning, I was like, okay, Google, what's the temperature? And Google was like, it's currently 34 degrees out, but with wind chill, it feels like 20. And I was like, never talk to me again, Google. <laughs> Awful. Truly awful. It was so cold all day. I'm thinking about that because I'm cold right now. That was the that was the missing link here. Is that a zombie? What are you? It's gonna be really cold tomorrow. Uh, I didn't even look at what it's supposed to be here tomorrow. I know eventually it's supposed to rain at some point. Okay, I don't really remember how to get to the animal village. Yukuku, Ukuku Prairie. So maybe down this way? You're getting a snowstorm tonight and tomorrow? Yuck. These freaking uh, groundhogs guys are lying to us. I don't even know what the groundhog results were. <laughs> it's one of my favorite traditions though, Groundhog's Day. It's such a silly thing that we universally were like, yes, yes, we dedicate a groundhog to this. Where's Phil? <laughs> it snowed where you live yesterday? 
you'll not engage in this pretend cold chat. Listen, it's cold for me, okay? Alright. It was 18 with the wind chill of 9. That's insane. Oh, man. I... I feel like if there were any precipitation, we probably would get snow. This is around when we got snow last year. It snowed three times here last year and actually stuck. It stuck, which is crazy. Salutations. You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Smashing! <laughs> we got a Nigel Thornberry on our hands. To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck! I already have a shovel. How do I know where to find your stupid leaves? I'm not afraid. I just decided to wait at home. Okay. That guy is greedy. It's been really warm there, honestly. This is winter has been a bust. I just walked straight into that. Man. Yeah, you guys are all... You guys are all getting real cold. I wonder then... I mean, I assume this is what I'm supposed to do next. Ooh, there's a heart container. Ooh, furry. Can I swim? I guess I can't swim. I love that drowning noise. <laughs> it's so good. I kind of want to go drown him again. I shouldn't do that. How on earth am I supposed to know where his freaking leaves are? That I do not understand. Maybe we'll... I mean, it's. I just realized what time it is. Maybe we'll pause here and we'll figure out what's going on with his leaves next time. Whatever we do, we must attack the electric pickle. We attacked the electric pickle earlier in the game and we learned, no, we do not attack the electric pickle. He said they were in the castle. You're right. You're right, he did say that. The castle. I think we'll probably talk to the hint guy. Silver Dollar City. You went to Missouri when you were younger for a family reunion in Branson. Stayed at a place called Stormy Point. Huh. You haven't found the five golden leaves? Try bombing suspicious places. Hope that helps. Okay, so we need bombs. You give the electric pickle some magic dust? Uh, ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Did you try eating the electric pickle? I do love pickles, but I don't love electricity. Though you couldn't you wouldn't be able to tell by how often I get electrocuted. Not like majorly, but I get static shocked daily at least. Constantly. And when I worked at a, a, a geek squad, I was constantly not grounded. And <laughs> uh, just like plugging laptops in, I would always get shocked. It's very safe. Very safe environment. <laughs> Okay, let's... Because I need to figure out even where to get bombs. Maybe... I didn't look at the store. Let's see if the store has like a bomb bag for us. Maybe. It does. Get it? Because we're in Mabe Village. Bombs. Well, that was easy. Ten bombs. Ten rupees. Can I buy... I didn't need like a bomb bag or anything? That was it? Well, well, this changes everything. I really need to like go to bed. 
but I really want to keep playing. Now that I have bombs. Let's just go let's just go find like one suspicious place and bomb it. And then we'll go to bed. Speaking of laptops, you used a can of air on yours last night for the first time in five years, and it was like someone finds an ancient book in an abandoned ma mansion and they blow on it. Whenever I think of ancient books, I think of book from Hocus Pocus. Well, that was a bad idea. I thought that the weight of the of the rock would uh, would crumble. Not the way. Let's restart this. Hocus Pocus, you love that movie? Yes, it's a great movie. <laughs> Another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Um, ugh, come on. There we go. I don't think I can last long enough on that platform. Yeah, nope. Was that the trick all along? Oops. Look at us go. Look at us go. You had a guinea pig named Binks? And you swore if you ever had a male child, you would name him Binks? Zachary Binks. Look at us go. I still haven't bombed a spot. <laughs> like Jar Jar. In retrospect, it's very good that you didn't because of what Dusty just said. <laughs> I knew you meant like like Thackeray Biggs. But yeah, that kid would definitely just get prequel memed nowadays. Okay, I think I know where there's one spot we can bomb. And then we'll then we'll go to bed. Leave me alone, ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Where's Boat Knight? <laughs> well, <laughs> a bomb well spent, everybody. You don't think kids know the prequels? No. There's a whole, like, subreddit of prequel memes. Well, that was not helpful. <laughs> this is fucking bad. Me alone. This bothers me. Can I blow these up? I don't think I can. This puzzle is driving me nuts. I don't understand what it wants. Oh well. Bed is so 2000 and late. Well, you know what? I'm very uh, 3008. That's why I'm still up. You know? Um, I definitely remember seeing a breakable wall on a cliffside next to a cave entrance. Like there was a cave entrance and then a little bit further down there was a so like this except for not this spot it was like there's a door here and then there was a bombable oh is it right there? There's one that's not the one I was thinking of but let's try this Ooh, leave me alone, leave me be Looks like a hookshot thing if that's in this game. It could be. You're, yeah, you're probably right. Ah! What the? F what the fuck is that? Can I bomb it? We made the second one bounce. Ah! Oh, what a weird object. There must be some way to tackle this obstacle. Okay, so that's come back later. That's what that means to me. <laughs> All right. This is okay. This is where I was thinking. I think. I just want at least one of these leaves. Come on. Just a fairy. All right. We'll pause here then. I don't think we're gonna find a bombable spot today. We will 
We will get back to it on Thursday. Tomorrow night. Should be Beavis and Butthead if all goes well with the cartridge. And then we'll be back to this on Thursday. If, for some reason, Beavis and Butthead doesn't work, then we're going to play Taz Escape from Mars on Sega Genesis. So, let's see who's on that we could raid. Is anybody on that we could raid? Um... Do, 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 do. Um, let's see. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, ba. I don't know. There's a couple people on. But I know that a lot of you guys do not like scary games. And someone that I follow is playing Resident Evil 2. Haganator, is that someone that you would like to raid? I don't know what that who that is. Haganator. Oh, this is the person that you mentioned last time, but it looks like they are AFK and also they're watching a TV show. <laughs> I they're watching Degrassi. <laughs> I feel I personally feel weird about ra rating someone who is watching a television show. Um just cuz that's a very drastic change in what we're doing and also I like the rules. <laughs> yeah, he's watching Degrassi. <laughs> you have a buddy, Sex? Are they playing Naked Conan ex Exile? <laughs> Who is it? Let's see. Dad of War. Let's see. Dad of War. That's a good name. Ranked Joust in Smite. Okay, yeah. Let's go say hi to Stax's friend, Dad of War. He was playing Scuffathon earlier, or doing Scuffathon. I don't know what that is. So let's go say hello, and hopefully I will see some of you guys tomorrow night for Beavis and Butthead, and if not, hopefully maybe Thursday for more Link's Awakening. We'll be on this for a while. I like it. It's really fun. It's really charming. For some reason, it's pulling me in more than past Zelda games have done as well. So I'm enjoying it. Oh, people playing scuffed games. That makes sense. All right. Well, thank you guys again for hanging out. Thank you again to Tuzzle for the raid and to you guys who followed and resubbed and all that jazz. It's always a good time. So thank you. Good night. And I will see you tomorrow. Adios.